Tonight's episode begins with all of you guys basically waking up after your um, restless night full of strange nightmares. Your fatigue um, that you experienced at the hands of Ashley Main has all but gone. Um, you do feel a little bit sore, especially in the arm area, but other than that, um, you're by no means um, as worse for wear as you was the night before. Even Raysa. And how's um, Raysa? Yep, yeah. even her with her spider venom. Um, you still feel a tad groggy, but okay. um, your strength points have returned. You're no longer at, you're no longer that was down gonna be on my strength. first question. What, uh, what about like her the wolf slash or whatever? Does um, she have she, it still? She does still have a strange so scratch I. mark, which she seems to remember getting in the dream. Yes. So Weird. was it a dream, um, or wasn't it? Who knows? Of course, it can't have all been completely legit because you're all alive still. <laughs> Right. <laughs> but um, Cal. that's it. But the one thing that you guys did forget to do was when Ashley Main told you he knew another <laughs> wizard that was more powerful and could actually remove enchantments from your arms, you were like, yeah, whatever, we're going to sleep. <laughs> and you kind of went to bed without collecting that information from the guy. Yeah, that was a little bit of a mistake. <laughs> we so, were um, knackered. That's it. So, yeah, yeah you, we, you all we were up. beyond knackered. Um, yeah. The one thing that you all are is pretty damn famished. Um, if you remember, when you came back, you were running low on rations. You were basically living off of the odd rabbit and berries that your guide, Hansel Falafel, was able to find you. The odd what? Um, the odd rabbit. Bush bunny? And bush bunnies, yeah. <laughs> bush bunnies. Um, the odd bush bunny and the, uh, and the few, um, you know, the, the few berries that he managed to find. But you're all pretty starving hungry. Um, and then when you got here, you pretty much all just went straight to bed. So there we go. All right. All righty. So what do you guys want to do? Get some damn food. All righty. <laughs> Downstairs. Downstairs we go. Let's go, guys. All, all right. right. So uh -huh. downstairs into the main common area of the inn. I think we should sit over here, guys. Of In the course. corner. Naturally, that's where you'd want to go. That's of right. course it is. <laughs> I'll go. There's already a cup of coffee, it looks like. I'll just have that one. <laughs> <laughs> it's like from the previous person, maybe left over from yeah. last night. You know, it is Sally after all. She doesn't clean After that well. nightmare we had, I'm drinking that coffee. Right. <laughs> Surveying the room, Radovan, you'll be pleased to see that Sally is actually not here to uh, not here this morning. Yay, it's Cassandra! Cassandra. Right oh, here I'm with her big wig and overly flowing bosom is here instead. Okay, oh. yes. I am staying away from the ladies. I am going to sit right <laughs> Here. <laughs> you, so you go you they want to cramp his style okay well, oh, totally, as soon as you man. guys come down i mean there's several people here already um as might be expected the lovely cassandra immediately wakes makes her way straight over to the clerical table of radovan rainier um just kind of sauntering over in an overly overly um friendly manner Flipping her hair, she kind of comes over to you and she says, Morning, handsome. How are you doing? <laughs> How are you doing? Oh, wait, wait, let me check. <laughs> was, How are you doing? Since no, when did yeah, Radovan come from, yeah. Red Red comes from Brooklyn? He's, he's Joey Tribbiani, yeah. <laughs> right? uh, no, no. How, how are you? What's going on? He said, Oh, I'm fine. What can I get you for this morning for breakfast? Whiskey and surprise me. Something meaty and delicious, please. Mm. Okay, she kind of giggles. Um, and then she goes over to the ladies' table. What do you want? No. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay, so she comes over to you. Um, what can I get for you, ladies, then? Uh, just whatever, whatever the special is for breakfast, I guess. Yeah, I'll take the same. And some water, please. Alrighty. Or tea. I'll take some tea. Tea? Oh, um, yep. I don't get asked for that very often. Let me go and see if we've got some. Okay, she Her voice is cracking. Her voice is cracking. <laughs> She's in shock. She's turning into a man. She's in shock. She's a She's man. Tea. tea? <laughs> Alrighty. So you guys are sitting there. Um, about 15, oh. 20 minutes later, she comes back. She brings you your large flagon of whiskey, you drunk bastard, um, yes. and a plate of bratwurst. Mm. Um, and basically brings the same, uh, the same food items for you two ladies, but um, the beverages that you requested. 
So, Thank um, you. while while we're eating over casual conversation, I would like to ask Kia if she still has my the blue gem and if she thinks it would be better if I carried it. Well, that's the real question. Is it? Do I think it's better? <laughs> that's right. Oh, no, but I am politely asking. The fact that she remembered. <laughs> Holy moly! I remember. Gonna... Come on. That's, that's what I'm saying. It's like you know, all the anything shiny. You, you... <laughs> Oh, I snicker. Um, like, yeah, you can have it. Whatever. <laughs> and I okay. take it out of my pocket and it to her. Okay. It's all yours. The racer, oh, the racer is now keeper of all the all the shiny things as usual. All the things, yes. <laughs> Alrighty. Okay, so um, you sit down, you sup, you have a, you know, you have a, a ample breakfast. Um, fill your tummies, <sighs> and now you're kind of feeling a lot better, much more content than you were before. Excellent. Oh, I think it's time we head back to Ashland, Maine and actually get the name of that wizard. Yeah, and replenish her supplies. And yeah. Kia, I'm not sending you on my own this time. <laughs> I wonder why not. <laughs> I got everything we needed. We survived. Yeah. Fact. Alrighty. Yeah. Are you going to head back to Ashland, Maine's tower? Yes. Yeah. Alrighty, so you head off down the main street. Um... It's a bright, sunny uh, midsummer's day. Um, you get to the tower. The little bell and his, you know, his elaborately carved door is there, as per normal. Ding, ding, ding. Alrighty. Not too long after that, you see a familiar-looking face peer out the upper window. He's like, "Oh, you're back rather early. One moment." And he lowers down the elevator. The door opens, and the. Uh, the cage-like elevator that you have been in multiple times now is sitting there before you, waiting for you to enter it. This time in we go. In we go. Well, the familiar kind of kunk, kunk, kunk ride as you get ratcheted to the top. Um, once you get it to the top of the uh, elevator, of course, um, he's there waiting. Uh, the familiar paraphernalia of the wizard's tower is there, including his strange corpse-like friend that he seems to have over in the far corner. Well, um... I haven't finished with the cure yet. Is there something I can help you with? It appears yes. in our Are our you... tiredness. We forgot to get more details of your friend. <laughs> My yes. friend? The wizard you told us about who could potentially help us. Oh, yes, yes. The uh Oh, that was last night. Yes. No, um Yes, that's right. You you were in somewhat of a hurry. Um probably has something to do with the fact that most of you collapsed. But um beyond that, um, yes, the colleague I spoke of is one, um, Baron Lightstaff. He's a wizard of some power. When last I knew, he was set up, um, you know, he, he was set up on the Scarrowmere, which is a lake not too far away from here, near the town of Scarrow. Um, taken to re a retired life, enjoying his love of fishing, apparently. Um, I'll write you a letter of introduction and explain your efforts to aid me, um, in curing the town, which I feel should be... Um, hopefully complete within the next few days. Um, St. Cuthbert willing. Um, if he feels so inclined, perhaps <laughs> he might be willing to help you. Or perhaps he won't. I don't know, really. But I'll certainly well, make the introduction. You have at least earned that. At least the introduction is, is very thing, uh, very kind of you and we appreciate it. Right, well he makes his way over to his table of, of um, written materials and scratches out some kind of letter stamps it with a big blob of wax, rolls it up into a scroll, and stuffs it in your hand. Here you go. Well, uh, if that was all, I, I don't wish to uh, keep you from your um, your labors, but I do have a lot to get on with. Thank you, Ashlyn. Not at all, not at all. Um, so I'll see you later. Goodbye. As he kind of gestures that you should re-enter the, um, the cage. I think we'll take the hint. <laughs> Alrighty, so he um, <laughs> lowers you back down, and you're back on the streets of Saramore once again. Well, who wants to get the supplies? Because I'm not allowed to. Why don't we all go together? Uh, <laughs> all <right. laughs> I'll trust you ladies to that. I have to go see a priest. Okay. So, um... All right. Okay, okay, so Radovan, you're going to the church, and then you guys are going to, I'm going to the church. The yep. Store. Okay. Alrighty. Um, well, ladies, you'll get to the uh, store before Radovan reaches the church. So once you arrive there, um, you wander in. Um, 
the familiar looking lady, the elderly lady that works there, says, uh, Oh, hello, what can I get you? All right, do we still have the letter of mark for our supplies? Um, technically, yes, you do. Okay. All right, so I would like to... Does she have three weather-repellent cloaks that we could acquire? Um, three <laughs> weather, um, wet weather cloaks? Let me have a look. Let me have a look. Um, yes, actually, I do. Excellent. Okay, she goes, and, um, she goes and kind of... Torches. Grabs those out of the... Uh, off the rack and brings them and dumps them on the counter for you. Torches? Uh, how many would you like? Three. Three? Fair three. enough. Yep. Yeah. Okay. She reaches under the counter and pulls out three wooden torches and drops them on. Do you have anything to like? I want to. Uh, yes. Do we. Jane, yeah. do you have any spells or anything, or is it just best that we buy stuff to. Probably buy. Oh, three torches? Yeah. Yeah, we should. Well, you might, we some. might as well have it anyways. We'll, we'll grab a flint. <laughs> okay, so she she puts her flint and steel up on the counter as well. I have I have flint and steel. I have flint and steel. Actually, so not... do I. So. Oh well, then. Yeah. yeah. You don't need it. Um, okay. Never mind. I would like to be punished by <laughs> arrows for sure. Alrighty. Um, she has in stock currently. Let's see. Okay, she has twenty-five arrows currently in stock. I will take them all. Okay. <laughs> Just load them up, load them up. That's all right. right. So she puts all of those on the counter. I turn, turn to Raysa and say, should we invite uh, Hans? Maybe he doesn't seem to care much about this town anymore. We can You know what? I think we can definitely use him. Oh. He knows his way. Um, I'm going to ask the lady how Slash. far it is to the town of Sorrow. Or Scarrow. Scarrow. Yeah, Scarrow. Um, well, let's see. You head out of the uh, Northwood Road about a day or... Well, you going on foot, horse or cart? Uh, I think we'll probably have a cart. This is oh well. Um, if you're going by cart, it's about probably about four days. I would think you'll go. Up, you're going to head up the road, and once you get to the fork, you're going to want to take a right, and that will lead you straight to um straight to the town of Scarrow. Okay, so, I'm going to oh, turn to Kia. So easy. You and might say... actually be in luck if that's where you're going and you're planning on leaving today. Oh, we are. Why? He says, well, if you quickly make your way over to the marketplace before they leave, um, today is when they usually bring in the, uh, the fresh fish from Scarrow. So there's probably a merchant caravan that's heading back that way today. You could oh, always wonderful. catch a ride with them. Sometimes they're even willing to hire people like yourselves for protection. Well, thank you for the advice. He says, well, not at all. You've done us a great service. We, we, owe, we owe you a lot here in Sorrow Morn. Um, cool. I'm gonna ask Kia and say how many days supplies or uh, rations do you think we should should take? I'm thinking at least six um, for a day trip, knowing our yeah. luck. <laughs> yeah, at least six. We should let's go for six. Okay, each. six days supplies for ah, three each. There we go. Okay, <laughs> so she basically hands you eighteen little packages of Wonder um, <laughs> iron rations. Is it all of um, this is going in the mail my... tab? Is it? Yes. Excellent. Uh, How is my rope looking after its adventures? Is it still in good condition? Yeah, no, you had you had good quality rope, so it's still okay. fine. Cool, just make it sure. <clears throat> is, well, is that all then? See ya. <laughs> <laughs> yes, thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, thanks very much. I very much appreciate your uh, your your business today. I'll be sending the bill to the mayor. Uh, when are you coming back oh, this yes. way? Do you know? We don't. Okay, good, good. Never mind. Well, uh, farewell and uh, have a great day. She's not going to cheat the mayor, is she? <laughs> Who would know? You won't be here to find out, will you? <laughs> yeah, she is. <laughs> uh, who cares? So, the hey, can I, can I just call her out or do I have to do a detect motive? Um, If you want to try to call her out, um, you can. I mean... Or well, if you actually want, want to, to do a detect motive, then maybe you'll find. Then maybe you'll actually know one way or the other. Otherwise, it's just your guess versus my guess. <laughs> okay, I would like to detect her motive because I don't want her cheating the mayor. That's not nice. All right, go ahead and make a detect really, motive Race. check then. Wow, interesting. Race's attitude is: if anyone's going to cheat the mayor, it's going to be her. <laughs> hey, you don't. Know that. <laughs> you don't know that. <laughs> you don't know that at all. 
Assumptions, Sense assumptions. Motive. Oh, this should be interesting. Okay, let's see how the rolling goes today. All <laughs> right, let's get the first. Eleven. Oh, okay. oh yeah. Um, <laughs> It's difficult to get a read on her. I mean, it is entirely possible, but she could also be just very excited that she's just racked up a huge sale, too, so. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Well, then I'm not going to say anything. All righty. So we'll you head out. Uh, meanwhile, <laughs> Radovan, you have made your way to the church. Yep. Okay. I'm going to knock on that door. It is opened by a familiar-looking face, and he is extremely alive. And You're alive! <laughs> I give him a big ah! hug. Immediately, like, I give him a hug. Um, yes, uh, oh. I, I'm still alive. Um, oh. oh, thank God you're alive. Thanks for the follow, man. Um, he said, yeah, um, why would you... And Oh, Snow Wolf, what's up, buddy? Um, so why <laughs> would you, um, be hugging me? Uh, I relinquish, I relinquish my hold over him and give him a slight push away. Well, he, he kind of naturally takes two steps he's backwards anyway. Two steps and he's back. like, all right. Dusting himself off because he's got Radavan on him. I'm like, us. Oh, long story, man. Uh, where, where's the hot, the head honcho? Where's the big guy? Oh, Father Ready? Davion. Radavan doesn't know his name. Um, he's, he's out back doing some training, actually. Would you like to see him? Uh, very much so. I have some things to say to him. Oh, really? Well, follow me then. All right. Okay, he leads you through the church um, and out back to where you can see a raised fighting ring. Um... He's basically there with what looks like a couple of the town militia as he's like clashing sword or they're, you know, they're using like dummy swords and shields and he's just waylaying on these people with his mace. Thanks, Power. Thanks for the follow, buddy. Um, just pow, pow, like just really beating the crap out of him like he's in a bad mood. <laughs> as the last of the <clears throat> militia falls flat on their butt as he hovers over them with the club side of his mace like I could smash your skull any second, but then like obviously thinks better of it. He turns to look at you and he goes, oh, you. <laughs> I immediately go down on one knee and bow my head. Okay, he kind of looks at you rather surprised and raises an eyebrow like, what's this? Wow. He kind of oh. wanders over to you, um, still dripping with sweat and huffing and puffing. He says, huh. Um, so, what's going on? What is this all about? Uh, I stand up, and I bow my head, and I say, I would like to apologize. Okay, for a second, he looks completely dumbfounded. He's like, apologize? Well, um, well, I I'm glad to see that you've come to your senses. I, it, you, when I first met you, I acted a little bit worse for wear, and- A, a little bit worse for wear? You were damn right insolent. <laughs> Hey, I'm apologizing here. This is <laughs> difficult for me, man. He said right. yes. It's pretty simple. I had this elf witch following me, and she kind of got a. She's been getting a rise out of me quite a lot lately, and it's a long story, <laughs> not for the better. And my attitude towards you and this order and this institution and this town, frankly, was in the wrong direction, and I want to. I want to repair the bridges that I may have inadvertently burned. Huh. Well, um, far be it from me to not be a forgiving man. So, uh, I accept your apology. And, uh... And, mm. Maybe... Maybe you should, um... I don't know, possibly... Seek penance in the ring. Penance in the ring? Uh... <laughs> I don't know if I have the time, man. He says, oh, come now, you certainly do. And he kind of grabs you and pulls you by the scruff of the neck into the into the, the ring. He says, we've got time to go a round or two. Oh, shit. This is not what I planned. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, what, what do you want to do? You want to just scuffle like on the, you want to grapple on the ground or you want to. Right. As soon as he does that, he lets out a loud, ah, and smashes you upside the shield like as hard as he possibly can. It's like a deliberate oh. blow on the shield. All but, right. I mean, it was serious force. It was it like like jarred you and knocked you back. He said, "Well, come on then. How about you, All right, motherfucker? <laughs> let's go. All right, I'm ready. I'm I'm ready to go. All right, roll your initiative, <laughs> and we'll see. Where are we? We'll see um, whether Radovan is up to the combat prowess. <laughs> Spells allowed or no? It's not known. Hmm? That's well. Are you asking him that? 
<laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm saying that as I'm rolling, you know. Okay, well, go ahead and, uh, <laughs> holy moly, look at that. How do you get a minus, oh, would you get a, how do you get a minus one on your attack? Because it's 1d20 minus one. No, that's my initiative. Oh, you're an initiative, that's right. <laughs> there we go. I'm Already good to go, go, man. Natural 20! Oh, we've got a first natural 20 of the night, wasted on a pointless initiative roll. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we do it here. Oh, wow. well, you roll. are definitely first. You are definitely first in the combat. In fact, your your lightning speed catches him unawares. Um, make sure to hit roll. All right. I, f I forgot what it was. We with all the is um, it one to twenty plus? A, I believe you're at a three, right? Twenty plus four now. I think that's oh, four. That's right. Yeah. Boom, wow. baby. All right, wow. you come crashing down on um, Father Davion with your mace. Um, mm -hmm. Are you pulling your blow, or are you going for all-out damage? Oh, I'm hitting him. <laughs> <laughs> he grabbed me you by the scruff of my neck, Go ahead, man. right, roll your damage then. D8 plus 2. Okay, you belt Father Davion, like, right upside the fo- like, hit him hard on the shoulder. You know what's um, great about this? I'm like, I apologize! <laughs> Take that! <laughs> Uh, it kind of knocks him <laughs> flying as he, I mean, he looks at you in utter shock. And now he kind of like poises himself and like starts circling round like. <laughs> as he lunges forward at you and swings his mace towards you. Um, however, he still obviously is reeling from the shock of the previous blow as it's a pathetic attempt at an attack. In fact, he almost like lands directly in your line of fire. It is your turn. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna hold off this time because I actually didn't mean to. If I hit him, that is. Well, yeah, like, I mean, I, he he, he belted you as hard as he could. <laughs> Bam! Look at this man. It's like <laughs> how to kill fellow That's members of the claw. Seriously, I'm just gonna murder everybody in this priesthood. Dude, okay, D8 plus two. I don't I don't want to hit him though. I, I want to hold back. Okay, so you're deliberately holding off. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I... so. Roll the damage and then basically tell me how much, like, reduce it to what you feel you want right. to reduce it to. <laughs> <laughs> Please so, hit um, on it. Right oh, as you're geez. about to smack him upside the head. Yeah, like a damage, man. I, okay. I, I, right, I don't so wanna... you kind of, like, pull it at the last minute and just kind of, like, cuff him with the, like, deliberately hit him with the wooden part of the, of the morning star and not the ball. Um, the the initiate is like standing there with his jaw like on the floor like because <gasps> he's like <laughs> he's in shock. Okay, at that point, Father Davion takes two steps backwards and says, ah, "Well, I think I owe you an apology." He said, "While I do not approve of your insolence and your Correct. deterrent ways that you." behave with our priestly doctrines you clearly have not neglected the art of combat and i respect that it, it, the hell i just came through is <laughs> crazy i almost died like four times um and only by the faith of cuthbert did i survive and i completely leave out <laughs> the elves that helped me right when i'm talking to him Com it's just, completely you know, claim full credit oh yeah okay <laughs> well he, he he definitely seems to have a, a newfound respect for you as he kind of puts his arm over your shoulder and leads you back into the church and, and um go is this when i walk in so <laughs> meanwhile um you guys have been Please. walking now you're still coming up the road by now you haven't got there yet oh, man. so um come you know he he basically you know, tells you that he appreciates your efforts in bringing the tonic, and he understands that you've been doing great work in trying to find a cure for the town. And um, <laughs> he feels that a few misspoken words can easily be wiped away based on the uh, the deeds and the actions that you perform. So he's like, you know, your your words may be ill chosen, but your actions can. He goes, your actions consist of great merit, sir. Well, there are. Thank you for that. And there are a few realities about this place that have kind of grown on me so <laughs> i wouldn't mind returning here uh preferably hopefully alone and still alive because i have a dangerous road ahead and you know then i show him the mark and i basically say this this thing is apt to kill me and i have to get it off me mangler yes. thanks for the follow buddy that's what i say to him oh. all right well um you know, he, he basically looks at you, and uh, you can tell just by the way he's looking at you, he's got a uh, much more... 
He's not scowling and looking down his nose at you like he was before. He's definitely more kind of looking at you more as an equal now. Um, as he kind of shakes your hand and says, Well, uh, you excuse me, I need to go and bathe. I am somewhat sweaty and I have to give mass here in just an hour. Well, I'm speechless, but oh uh, yeah, no. Um, <laughs> I actually didn't know what to say for a second. Um, I hope to see you soon. All right. Good, Good deal. Okay. Yep. Damn straight. <laughs> All right, the uh, the initiate kind of, you know, says, Wow, I, I, I've been here for seven years, and I've never seen Father Davion bested in the ring. He said, I particularly yeah. like that insulting cuff upside the ear you gave him. Oh, I'd love to have done that myself. <laughs> Only in your dreams, buddy. Just <laughs> glad you're alive. <laughs> he says, well, uh, yes, we'd be happy to see you if you come back through this way. That would be wonderful. I'll show you some pointers. Oh, yes, definitely. Uh, when Father Davion's not around, of course. Sure. Okay. okay. Well, he, he, he leads you to the door. Um, as you kind of get to the door, you can see the two elves walking up the road towards the church. <clears throat> hey! Oh, I, I just wait back Say, why are you all sweaty? <laughs> uh, long story, just uh, making amends with What's my What's that my huge brethren? dent in your shield? Ah, <laughs> uh, polish that it dick. off, you know? Why? We got word of a caravan that's uh, delivering the weekly shipment from Scarrow, where we're heading. So we got to head to the market, and hopefully we uh, well, can catch them and maybe right get a ride. beside the market. The market is directly to your left, um, and you can Excellent. see what looks like three or four um, carts all lined up. Um, there's a fellow that's kind of walking along them, talking to everybody and making sure that they're all ready to go. Um, there's like. Um, Several men at arms, maybe three or four guys that are wearing kind of leather um, with swords that are sitting on different carts, but they're all kind of just, you know, paying attention to the market and stuff like that. Oh, Scarborough, thanks for the follow. Um, so, yeah, um, it's it looks like it's about to leave. Shake it, get us a ride, or Radovan, get us a ride with them. Yes, do we, yes. Do we really need their company? It'll be way quicker and we can yes. just hang out. Oh, because we're like the the partridge family of you know community, <laughs> hey, right? Hey, right we can barely stay hates. together each other, uh, ourselves. Free ride, carry all of our Listen. shit. <laughs> they know yeah, where we're the going. Likes to sleep during the night and not take watches. This is yeah, right about hook up. Oh, fine. Let's go. Let's let's hitch a ride, I guess. All right. Well, there's all you can see. The guy that's kind of walking along, checking everybody, seems to have the air of authority like he's some kind of you know caravan leader or wagon master or something like that I, as I you get closer mm -hmm. he uh he's talking to one of the one of the men he says so ren he said uh you and your you and your cohorts are capable of defending us i assume if anything goes wrong you have no ren, idea sir oh it's not talking to me turns as you say that he goes oh, oh hello <laughs> Um, uh, I'm sorry, I thought you were talking to me. I didn't mean to interrupt you. But taste, we... thanks for the follow. Um, he says, uh, I was actually talking to him. He kind of looks at you up and down, and he says, um, well, are you available? Are you offering your services? Uh, do you got pay involved? We'll keep you guys safe. Uh, well, we pay two gold per day for travel. Back to Scar It goes back to Scarrow. Um, you get a bonus five should there actually be any trouble when you defend the caravan successfully. Other than that, it's just two two gold. But we will feed you and give you a comfortable place to sleep. I'll say Radovan will take watches every night if you give us three gold. Oh, <laughs> sorry, it's two gold. The same I give everybody. Ignore her. She doesn't know what she's talking about. We'll take the two gold a day. We're good to go. All right. He said, payment upon okay. completion. When you get there, I pay you. So, sounds good, you sir. Know, so if you die on the way, I don't have to. Where pay. should we put our things? <laughs> um, Where well, should we put our things, mister? Uh, well, you guys have a horse and cart. Oh. Do you want to leave that here? Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> What's I didn't his think name? you would. Yeah, what's the caravan leader's name? Um, is Shaggy gonna ask, or is a uh, Redavan gonna ask? Oh, him? I'm already gonna forget, so I don't okay. really care. Right then, he has not volunteered that information unless one of you asks him. Excuse me, sir. Sir. Yes. 
Uh, can we have your name, please, so we know who we're traveling with? Oh, uh, my name's Boris. Boris Teague. I'm the caravan leader here. Well, nice to meet you. I'm Kia. You make me go go. Thanks for the follow. <laughs> <laughs> this is well, uh, nice to meet you, Kia. Um, not being rude, but are you signing on as caravan guard? Yes, we are with Mr. Radavan there. Oh, and you don't Sir look Radavan. very capable. No offense. Excuse me, I kind of uh, hold my staff up and <laughs> point it towards I, I, him. I, I, I immediately get in, in between Kia and this <laughs> man, and I'm like, she can do what she can do, and it can impress, I assure you. On um, my word. Well, I've um, saved his life before. Kia. Well, as long as, he goes, as long as when, you know, when the... You know, when the, the hammer hits the nail, that I don't have to worry about your safety as well as everybody else's in the caravan, then I'm not opposed to, uh, you know, I understand in these modern days that you ladies as are he's quite speaking, capable. As he's speaking, I'm going to come up behind him. He probably, probably hasn't seen me yet. And I'm just going to, like, be, like, right behind his ear. I'm just going to be like, and I'm Raysa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. You guys. <laughs> he's just like, to scare him. <laughs> Uh, spins around suddenly. He's like, oh. So there's three of you then. Is it three? And he starts yes. looking around to see if he can see any more. He says, well, uh, the offer is the same. Two gold per day and an additional five if you have to do anything to defend the caravan. In the future, guys, and I turn to the... To the I'm already heading basically. towards our cart and hopping in the back. Oh, oh okay. okay. Like, so let's go. Ready. Well, so you're at the back of the caravan then. Alrighty, well, so. uh, we will take a very <laughs> quick break. <laughs> Basically, here you are. Here is Saramorn. Now, this map, of course, is for our, our viewers. Um, our players do not actually have a copy of a map, so um, this is for you guys to see. Alrighty. <clears throat> well, your first day's travel goes uneventfully. Mild weather and a late summer breeze makes the journey a pleasant one. The main road is easy to travel on, and you make good progress. By early evening, you have reached the fork in the road that dictates whether your travels will take you to Corthan, the big city, or to Scarrow, and the promise of assistance with your marks. The merchant caravan which you have been traveling with has pulled off to the side of the road and appears to be setting up camp for the night. Boris barks orders to the drivers of each cart to secure their horses and make ready to rest. You guys are pretty much right here. Sounds good. Alrighty. Um, Sweet, I see a tree. Is it climbable? <laughs> and that's like a little crop of trees there, yeah. It, it looks like you can see that this area has been used as a campsite numerous times in the past. Like, um, you know... It's a regular route. Yeah, I mean, there's... You can see, like... Um, remnants of different fires that have been here before. Um, there's posts that have been, you know, hammered into the ground to tie horses to. Um, it's a general respite for a lot of different travelers. Alrighty. Um, well, as they kind of get the caravans together, um, you know, some of the people are coming out lighting fires, starting to cook food. A few people are playing musical instruments and stuff like that. Um, you know, a lot of general chit-chat going on around the campfire, and it's kind of like a, you know, a fairly pleasant atmosphere. I'm going to do what I normally do, find a nice tree and hang out up there, a la Katniss. <laughs> Alrighty. Do your Katniss Everdeen thing. Yes. Alrighty. So you guys are sitting there, um, one of the, one of the ladies from one of the local carts kind of comes around and offers you some salted meat and um, she's carrying like a jug and some wooden mugs as if she's looking to offer to fill a mug for you and give you some kind of beverage. She approaches, um, oh she can't see Racer because she's up the tree, um, but she approaches, uh, approaches um, Kia and Radaman. Oh, thank you, please, yes. Okay, she... I'll see her and hop down. Okay. <laughs> Scare her probably and... <laughs> Right, basically, yeah, you, um, she pours what looks like it's some kind of ale into a glass and hands it to each of you. Um, there's a little camp, like, you hear, like, some riotous laughter coming from the group to your right, which seems to be those rapscallions that were here earlier, that the other hired help, as it were. Um, 
I'm gonna walk over there. Okay. Oh. I'm just gonna sip my ale. Relax. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna get back up my tree once I finish eating. Alright, one But of I'm gonna <laughs> listen, see if I can maybe okay. hear... Oh, well, you can. They're very loud. Excellent, um, I'll be listening. One of them kind of nods in the direction of Radovan. He says, pointless oh, no. law thumper. He says to a couple of his comrades, St. Cuthbert, <laughs> like busybody more like, and they all kind of start laughing. He said, wandering around, sticking their nose in other people's businesses, things that don't concern them, <clears throat> and that one. And he kind of um, looks directly at Radovan and scowls at him. He says, only redeeming quality, with it, um, quality that he's got is that company he's keeping. And they all like, whoa, 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 whoa. He said, I wouldn't mind initiating some of them with my cudgel. <laughs> okay, um, you actually walked over there. As soon as you do that, he stops and goes, well, well. Um, how about it, Lars? He goes, feel like a good time? He goes, bet you've never had the pleasure of a real man like me, and I've never had the pleasure of better than an elf before. And they all start laughing as he grabs hold of you by the <laughs> shoulders and tries, like, roughly kinda, to give you a kiss. Um, <laughs> kick him off with my leg. And back up. Did I hear you say you don't oh, believe no. in St. Cuthbert? What? Says, believe? Yes. Respect? No. Race of that order, a bunch of annoyances, that's all they are. Says the man shouting out Radovan. aloud, huh? Um, I'm just, I look um, back to Radovan. He kind of looks over at Radovan and goes, well, what about him? Does he like to share? <laughs> For oh, the, on the only people that are annoying... <laughs> This peace and calm are you guys. I'm just laying here. That's what I shout back. He says, well, that's probably all you ever do. He says, come on, lassie. He goes, let's get in the back of the wagon here. And he grabs hold of your arm and tries to pull you into the cart with him. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, I'm going to try kicking him again and also um, kind of want to mess with him. Like, all right. Yeah, Show I, me. I, Show me where you want to go. Thanks for the follow. I immediately stand up and start approaching this group. Okay, and uh, Kia, Kia what exactly are you going to do to this guy? Um, I'm trying to get away from him first, so he's not touching me. But like, um, if you yeah, want to show me where you want to go, I mean, he's like really holding your arm, like aggressively okay. tight and pulling you. Um, if you want to break his grip, you'll actually have to make a opposing strength check against him. Well, that's not gonna work. All right, what is it? Let's see. So your strength plus your strength bonus, which is nothing. So it's a straight d20 roll for you. Oh my Ooh. gosh. <laughs> right. Basically, as you start pulling against him, he just tightens his grip and like yanks you and almost pulls you like a foot off the ground. How far away are they from us, by the way? Um, probably about 100 feet from where you are up in the tree. Okay. Right. Radovan, you're, getting, you're walking over there at this point. Yes. Okay. I'm going to gonna jump down as well, but like kind of hide behind caravan things as I get closer. <coughs> move okay. Closer. Right. Um, so hopefully they don't see me. Suddenly, um, Radovan and Kia, you feel a little weird, a little strange. Like your malcontent with this guy seems to be beginning to grow. Um, go ahead and make a willpower check for me, if you both will. Difficulty check required is 15, please. Oh, no. Uh, you said uh, willpower, willpower, right? Yes. So yeah. is, yeah. It, is, is it the total or the base save? The, to um, the total. All right. Oh, she did great and watched me fail horribly. <laughs> Even though it's an awesome. Yeah, see? Yeah. <laughs> go I, figure. Thanks for the follow. Hi. Right, um, okay, Kia, you feel this overwhelming desire to like cause bodily harm on this guy, but you're you're calm, collected individual. Radovan, on the other hand, just loses his shit. Um, the one thing that you notice and uh, Racer notice is Radovan's arm starts to glow bright blue. The mark, oh. as it's Ooh. it's like whoom, this like blue glow suddenly appears. Um, and until I tell you otherwise, Radovan, you're acting with extreme prejudice towards this guy. So do what you would normally do when confronted by an enemy that you wish to do some serious harm to. I mean, as far as you're concerned, this man is just, whatever it is, he crossed a line here and he deserves to pay. 
Um, <laughs> do I have control over like my 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 voice? Um, like, because what? Basically, what, just think it, it's like extreme rage you're feeling. Like you're just full of utter utter well, rage. You're not rational at this point. It's like well, ah! then obviously I'm gonna I'm gonna lash out with my morning star and try to hit him over the fucking head. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> For, pretty much, right? <laughs> Make your attack roll. Oh. So. All right, you Ooh. lash out violently as this guy just literally manages to lean back as the morning star buzzes directly in front of his nose, but he does let go of Kia at this point. Um, I start grinning. Okay, oh. his his comrades all kind of suddenly <laughs> like stand up behind him. Um, as he kind of looks at you and says, Oh, I see. He goes, want to get physical, do we? Well, come on then, Nancy boy. As he starts oh, to draw his sword, he starts draws his sword. Um, his friends behind him haven't drawn weapons, but they're all like standing up behind him, like ready to back him up should they need to. Um, you're still under extreme rage, so you know there's there's no rationality coming from you right now. All right. Can I can I do something? You can. Can I put a grease spell um, in the middle where they're about to go at each other? <laughs> <laughs> oh, so the two... Yeah, you can dump a grease spell right yeah. on the floor. You'll have to roll oh, initiative. God. So, uh, okay. Radovan, you roll your initiative. Um, so he rolls his, I'm and sneaking. Kia rolls hers. And we'll see. Oh, Kia's God. Oh, look at Kia, look. Yep, okay. Them rolls, Jane. Them rolls. All right. I, I just gotta say, this is the second time I've lost my shit in, like, the <laughs> real world. <laughs> right? right? The Goblin Shaman and now this... Well, this time, okay, basically, right as you, you know, you charge at this guy, he charges at you, mm -hmm. both of you meet in the middle, um, you need to make a um, reflex save, Radovan. Oh, God, I've never done that before. Uh, da, da, da. Sorry, guys. Um... I guess Ki is mostly feeling amused and not really feeling like this guy was actually about to take advantage of her. Yeah, Van's reflexes are bad. Yeah, it's basically just one d twenty, right? <laughs> um, yep. Whoa! Okay, you actually managed to wow. pass. Wow. Um, well, the Whew. um the other fellow, as he kind of lunges forward, he slips on ra on the uh, grease on the floor and falls on his butt. Uh -oh. Um, but that now makes him a prone target, and you did not fall. Um, so you get to make another attack, but his AC will be reduced because he's not actually able to dodge or anything like that. So swing I away. I don't want to kill him. He's not. You might not want asshole. to kill him, but. <laughs> okay, good. Okay, you crash <laughs> down. Clearly, your that. temper has gotten the better of you. Yeah. Um, at this point, Boris comes charging over, like yelling at the top of his voice. <laughs> Like, stop that! Stop that at once! He said, I'm still I'll have no infighting Sorry, or sir. trouble in my I caravan. I have my staff behind my back. He says, and I'll pay no man or woman that participates. Now you break it up and keep yourselves to yourselves. One of the men behind this other guy goes, They started it! He says, We were just joking around. And then this... This Nancy of Cuthbert just suddenly tried to crush his skull in with a club or something. He says, I don't care who started it or why. Doesn't happen in my caravan. Best we split you lot up. He said, Ren, get off your ass. You and your men need to go to the front of the caravan and stay out their way. And you three, you need to stay here at the back. He said, don't care who it is. Nobody starts trouble in my caravan. I won't have it. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Am I still, uh, like, my head down. super pissed off? Um, no, the, the blue glow has died down and suddenly you're... You can kind of feel the Hulk-like rage just sort of just dissipate from your body. Woo! Hmm. Wow. Oh, uh, yeah. Whoa. Saw Whoa. you were fighting hard for me there, Radvan. Huh? <laughs> what? What happened there? I was what? I'm you sorry. Crush on me? <laughs> now, did, did, see me with did another Key, man? Did Key and I get to see his arm glowing? Yes. Okay, oh, so I'm have... just gonna kind of. Like, as they walk, are they walking back towards me? I'm assuming because they were told to go to the back. Uh, yeah, I mean, you guys, your, your caravan is right there at the back. Okay. I'm going to say, did you see your arm? Look, I can't think straight right now. Where's the whiskey? Your arm was glowing. It, it was what? It was glowing a la blow up chick. Oh, well, I'm. Well, thank God I'm still here, right? Like, yeah. Whew, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm all in one piece, you know, every bit of me. Uh, 
I, I don't I don't know. I just I just wanted to kill that guy. So I that mean, wasn't <clears throat> you you some were you No, so no. That wasn't natural. Something happened to you. Yeah, no, I was I was approaching just to mediate the situation, you know, just to get Kia away from them. Because they're jesting and jiving, you know, it's just worse. I mean, and Kia started to feel pretty mad and angry and irrational as well, but she was just able to keep herself, you know, she was able to kind of keep level-headed. So it wasn't like only Radovan felt it, it's just only Radovan acted on it. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what to say. I, I mm. just... That was not planned. Can, Kia, can you tell if there's any, any magic users around? Um, I haven't quite looked around for them. I can go scout around and see if I detect some magic or ask around. I don't know. It was just—it's just odd that that happened. Yeah, it is. Do you think it's because he got angry, or did the glowing cause angry. him to be angry? We've been oh, angry been before. Angry. I wasn't. I wasn't. I didn't approach angry. I approached wanting to get you away from them because they were trying to get a rise out of you and mm -hmm. apparently succeeding, <laughs> you know? <laughs> and not that way, elf. Okay? Relax. <laughs> I didn't mean it that way. <laughs> I had no anger in my mind. I was perfectly happy and I was just going to be my diplomatic, charming self as you have known, come to know me as. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, let me see if I can detect <laughs> magic in this vicinity. Well, we're wearing magical tattoos. <laughs> like, won't that kind of oh. get in the way? Right? Yeah, it's um, <laughs> it's fairly <laughs> likely that you will actually get um a positive response in the immediate vicinity. <laughs> That's true. Well, I, well, I assume I, she could tell I the difference. Then. She could tell the difference between our regular this thing that she's right. been well, around. I mean, the way detect magic works is basically she can kind of like hold her arms out and like do a sweep of an area. So as long as you know, as long as you. Okay. I'm sorry. Stand I, behind I her and out of her yeah. way. Stay out of my free way. Let me do this. <laughs> stay out of her. Stay out of her line of fire. I, I apologize. I will. Okay. But, um, but of course, off. I mean, you only you have a limited range. So I mean, what what do you do? Well, I have one of my feats is a extended range. Right. Well, that'll definitely yeah, that'll definitely help. It'll help. All right. I'm gonna try that out. See what I get. Okay, I mean, in what direction and, and specifically what are you trying to detect wait, magic? Wait, do that again, do that again, do it again. I do my finger gestures, come on, I want to see what you got. <laughs> and that, ladies and gentlemen, like is how detector, detect right? magic sounds. Yes. <laughs> so, um... I mean, are you are you like going to the caravan and the and, and doing it to the other carts and stuff like that, or any yeah, individuals or? Yeah, yeah. No, I'm doing it towards okay. the carts first. You, you get a you get a few strange looks as you start walking around with your arms <laughs> outstretched, mumbling under your breath. You know, a couple of people looking. That's a weird one. And, you know, she's a bit odd, isn't she? <laughs> I ignore them. Right. Okay. Um. Well, no. Um. You don't detect any magic coming from the camp at all. Can I detect magic in the little patch of trees around us? If you wish. Did it, did it reach? Um, yeah, I mean, you'll probably, to cover the whole caravan, you're probably going to have to do, you're probably going to have to cast it twice. Uh, well, sorry guys, not wasting it. Okay. I think whatever happened is gone, and if it happens again, we need to be more adamant in the moment of looking, and not afterwards. I was a little bit uh, distracted, so I'm sorry. It's okay. No problem. Uh, well, the rest of the evening goes uneventfully, um, and do you guys, are you just going to sleep, or are any of you volunteering to take a watch, or what's the deal? Uh, I do. I volunteer to take a watch, because... Apparently the leader of the caravan was not happy with me. So <laughs> try to get on his good side, you know. Alrighty. Yeah. Okay. Um. I will um be up in my tree, but kind of in and out of sleep because we got to rest a whole day riding the back of the caravan. So. Yeah. Alrighty. I'm sleeping. <laughs> yep. Okay. Well. Um. Yeah. The rest of the night goes uneventfully. Nothing happens. Um. You. You know. You get. You get reasonable amount of rest. Um. And you wake up bright and more. Um. Early to. 
Boris is yelling and screaming, Get ready to make way! <laughs> Dampen those fires! And everyone's like running around, feeding their horses, you know, getting everything ready to move off for the next day's travel. And within Sweet. about 15 minutes, the carts and the wagons start rumbling off down the main road, or off the side road. Um, the second day's travel is also fairly uneventful. Other than passing a few strangers along the road, um, a couple of other merchant caravans, you don't really see much at all. Later that evening ahead of you, you can see some fields of corn and what appears to be a large farmstead. That's right here. Okay. Um, once again, the caravan pulls to the side of the road, um, but some several hundred feet away from the farm buildings. There are some large water troughs there and feeding bins. It would seem as if the local farmer has made provisions for travelers. Maybe as a kind gesture, or maybe to discourage them from seeking succor in the farm itself. <laughs> but once again, they all kind of... Same routine. You know, they, they tie up the horses, um, feed them, water them, and once again, light their little fires and start going about their, their evening camping. Is there a tree? <clears throat> Doesn't look like there's a tree. No. I mean, there is a, there, you know, there's a farm fairly close by, but um, no one's actually in the farm itself. You guys are all kind of camping on the outskirts of it. Um, I think because we pretty much had like a lazy travel day that day, I'm going to probably stay up most of the night. Alrighty. I'm going to just rest. Okay. Um, like dozing in and out, like light sleeping. Okay. Well, With after... an ear open. Okay. After about an hour or so, two young lasses, um, one in her early 20s, the other perhaps in her late teens, approach you from the farm. They come to your cart first, seeing as that you're at the back. One is carrying a basket with a towel over the top. The other seems to be carrying a large jug. As she approaches, um, they kind of walk over to you and they both kind of curtsy. Um, Excuse me, mister. Oh, and ma'ams. Uh, can we interest you in some hot buns or uh, a jug of beer? Buns just come out the oven, they have. Um, Dad makes the beer himself, he does. Uh, it's right strong. Buns are two copper each and five copper for a mug of Dad's beer. What do you want? You want some? No, thank you. <laughs> did you have to say buns so many times? Well, you know, yes, I did. And all that in it. <laughs> <laughs> I see what you're up to, Gore. Uh, yes, please. And I grab a few. <laughs> okay. Hot buns. How many hot buns oh, are you I'll taking? I'll take one as well. Okay. Um, I'm, it... They're very cute. Little, they're very cute. Can, can I say hello to them? Try to strike up a conversation. Of course you can. The, um, she says well, the, the <laughs> buns are two copper each. Um, Do you live here? Is this is? Have you been living here your whole life? Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. How do you like it here? Boring, isn't it? Make oh, nothing, you don't like it. Never going on around here. What horrible place to grow up. I can't wait to get away from this place and go to the big city. Where are you lot yeah, going then? Yeah, I bet. We're on our way to, to uh, Scarrow. Yeah. Where, where are we uh, going? I've been Scarrow? there once. Place smells of fish. Perfect. <laughs> Just uh, what I like. Not not the big city you want to go to? Just, no, I'm thinking of the big city. Not, uh, the, you well, know, not a fish town. Well, what, what's the big city? Uh, uh, we're new here. We don't know our way around. Well, if you go back up the road and head northwards... That's where the big city is, isn't it? Never been there myself. Why don't you go? Well, Dad ain't gonna let us, is he? We got oh. a farm to tend to. Speaking of, why aren't we, uh... Can, do you mind if we have a tour of your farm? I'd be oh, interested I don't in know seeing about it. That. Dad's really weird when it comes to strangers. Doesn't like him much. That's why he oh, set this he place a... up. Trouble, that's what he experience? says. Like, oh, trouble. 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 Yeah, no, we come. We're with the caravan. We're. Well, that's it. We're guards, See, caravan you know? types, isn't it? Them caravan types. Oh no, no, this was. Bunch it was of pikeys. We don't know them really. We're just kind of tagging along. She says, "Well, uh, I mean, it's up to you. You can go and knock on his door if you want, but he'll probably chase you off and set the dogs on you." Set the dogs on us. Yeah, yeah. I'd rather not. <laughs> mm-hmm. He says, well, uh, 
If you don't mind, you can pay us then and we'll move on. We've got all these buns to flog before the, you know, before it gets too dark. Then we got to go back and take care of all the animals. Okay, have fun. And then give them two copper. Was, uh, it's two copper each. Okay, give them two more copper. <laughs> <laughs> what about a mug of this There's beer an then? There's extra copper. Some I of that? take an extra. How much? It's right strong it is. Five Ooh. copper. You can all keep right. the mug. Ooh. Okay. So she Do it. pours you a big flagon of that and hands it to you. <laughs> Takes the money and she shuffles off He's to the never next. Refused. Shuffles off He's to the next refused. um next caravan and starts harassing them much the same way as she did you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, just resting. Alrighty. Just going back into my relaxation. No problemo. <laughs> Um, so you're relaxing. Um, Racer, you were pretty much on point. What are you doing, Kia? Um, I'm going to also relax and sleep, probably. I'm not paying Alrighty. much attention. Uh, Racer, make a spot check for me, if you would. Hmm. Uh-oh. Alrighty, then. Dun-dun-dun. Twenty! Ooh. Okay. It's, um... So, Racer, um, yes. basically, as you glance out over the farm, you notice that three men have left the caravan, are quietly making their way towards the farm in um, distant pursuit to the two girls. You know, the two girls, basically, they've, they've headed back to the farm, and there's three men, um, at least two of which you recognize from the scuffle with Radovan, are skulking behind them, heading in that direction. All right. Um, I'm going. Where is the caravan uh -oh. leader? Where's Boris? Um, basically, he's up. He's up near the. He's kind of like near the middle of the caravan. He's just chilled out around a campfire right now. Okay. Well, I'm going to go over to him. Okay. And I'm going to say. Do you see? I'm going to point that where the the men were. Can he still see them? No. I mean it's. It's too dark for any human to have seen him anyway. All right. Well, I'm Remember, just going to say. you just got super elf vision, so. Three of your guys from the forward guard just followed those two lasses back to their farm. What do you want to do about it? <sighs> he kind of sighs and he says, oh, great. This is going to go down well, isn't it? Trouble. And he says, well, um, and he kind of glances around and says, well, it looks like the hired help is what's missing. Oh, uh, knew it. No offense, I'm keeping my nose out of this one. Well, it has nothing to do with me, but it has your caravan's reputation on mine. And this I just want you to know that this shows that that earlier scuffle really had nothing to do with us. He says, well, maybe so. He says, but what am I supposed to do? He said, we're merchants. They are armed thugs. He said, I mean, you know, I'm paying them to protect the caravan the same way I'm paying you. But... We're in no position to to deal with them. They're not harming us. I mean, so you're okay with them going after those two young girls? No, I'm not okay with it. But I don't really have anything to do about it. Of course, you were hired to protect the caravan, as you pointed out. Um, mm -hmm. the caravan's reputation is online. Yes, but if we leave to go take care of them, we're not protecting the caravan now, are we? <laughs> He says, well, um, I don't, doesn't look like we're going to be in any danger just resting here by the farm. Just thought I'd just confer with you as you are the leader of the caravan. He says, look, he said, if you want to go and rescue the girls or protect the farm, that's up to you. He said, personally, I'm going to turn a blind eye to it. All right. And I'm going to turn walk off and go find Kia and Radovan. And I'm going to tell them what I saw, and tell them my conversation with Boris, uh, and we are going to talk about it. Well, uh, well, I mean, in the time that, that you, in, in the time that you've done all this, I mean, the the guys are nowhere to be seen, and it looks like they're. I mean, they're on the farm by now, so mm -hmm. whatever they're yeah. up to, they're in the middle of doing it. We got to make haste, guys. Let's go. Do we care? Yeah. <laughs> Did are you see what they tried to do to me? <laughs> They're gonna do far worse to those poor Listen, girls. We're here to protect the caravan. These guys are 
obviously going against the caravan. By the laws of what we were hired to do, we need to protect the caravan by stopping these guys. Yeah, but if we leave the caravan, we're not protecting it, are we? Oh. <laughs> This is not um, this is not Bane speaking. This is not the time <laughs> to talk about this. We need to go. And then I, I just head off. You don't I just want go. to, Risa. You can stay. I just go. I follow, I I follow Radovan. Yep. Okay. So Radovan and Kia are heading down to the farm. What are you deciding upon, Risa? Do you want to keep your nose out of this one, or are you going to follow? <laughs> I'm going to stalk in the shadows and follow them. Okay. So do you, we know you're following you, us? Or so no? are you doing it so that they don't know that you're following as well? Um. Well, they're going to hear <sighs> okay. as they walk away. So whether they think that's me following them or not. Alrighty. Okay, so you guys are heading down there. Um, as you get closer to the farm, you are aware that the three men have gone inside a large barn up ahead. As you get close, you hear girls screaming. Yep. As you get closer still, you hear... Tut, tut, lassie. I like it when they struggle, but you need to be quiet or else someone will hear. And then you hear like what sounds like a... And then a loud scream. Um, and then you can kind of hear... Er that everything kind of goes quiet. Motherfucker dead. Killing him. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I run as fast as I can into that barn. All right. The second I hear oh, those sounds. Okie dokie. So you're heading... Headlong into the barn, no time, you're not going to like scout it out, just charge full on in there, nope. in full protection mode. I am not charging, I am, I am stealthing to a vantage point of some sort. Okay, um, well there you guys are, there is the barn. Okay, Radovan bursts through the door. And uh, what about Kia? Right now she's standing at the back. Um, I'm going to stand in the doorway with my own... Right. Position, can, can your, I, position yourself. Can I just no. say one thing that's kind of bothering me about the tokens you chose? What? The big guy closest <laughs> to me, is he holding his nipples? <laughs> <laughs> it I looks think like it's he's, he's, like he's kind of doing this. Up. Oh, his <laughs> well, fists. You know, they, they are pretty, like dude, that. that is funny <laughs> stuff. He's like holding his nipples. Oh my okay, God. Let's have a look here. Here he is. Let's grow him briefly just so that everybody... <laughs> Okay, that is actually what he's doing. Um, oh my Radavan. Gosh. Where's Radavan's head at? Oh God. Twisting his nipples. You know, quite possibly. Those, those big guys got to do that, you know? All right. He's getting his jollies off. Okay, um, we're inside the barn. Oh you can God. see the three men trying to force themselves upon the, the young girls. Um... So it looks like we're just in the throes of feeding the hens. So um, the guy right here in the middle is the same guy um, that Radovan had the uh, little scuffle with earlier, and the other two are two of his lackeys. Okay, um, you burst in through the door. You survey what I just explained to you. Um, what are your choices of action? What are you guys going to do? First okay, I'm stealth outside, kind of to the the side so okay. that if somebody comes out the door i can backstab him so i've got okay. a dagger at the ready all right so you're 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 kind of just waiting for an opportunistic attack okay yeah uh, renovan what's your what are you what are you gonna do the first thing i'm gonna say is get get the hell back that's why I, I just shout it out loud oh to them to them as i get they the hell turn out. to look at get you back. um the one that you messed with earlier he says stay out of this priest this don't concern you uh, yes, it does. Get back now. Right, the big hefty one turns and kind of positions himself between you and the rest of the group. Kind of just standing there with his big fist. He's, I'm not scared of you, priest. I've dealt with your sort before. Alright. Yeah, I want to attack him. I want to attack him. Okay, initiatives. Let's get some initiative rolls going. Do I need one since I'm outside, or um, just so that we know where you are in the ratio or in the uh, in the melee? Should it happen? Cool. Okay, so we have a Kia on a nine, racer on a fifteen. Was that your roll above it, Radovan? Yeah. A twelve, yeah. Radovan on a twelve. Alrighty. 
Okay, on a nine. Okie this, dokie. Is, this is really nice background music for a bad like fight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a little, it's, a too nice. it's too pleasant. Yeah, we'll switch that up. We'll switch it up from the. Uh... I'm just sitting here. I'm like sunshine ah. and lollipops. That, yes, like, wait that, a minute. that was kind of. There you go. There's... How's that? That's better. Yeah. Oh yeah. The All righty. Okay. Um. <laughs> So, Racer, you would normally be acting first, but you're outside. Radovan, you get to act next. So the first thing I'm going to do is cast my second level cleric spell, Spiritual Weapon. Ooh, I'm going okay. to make a secondary, I'm going to make a weapon in the air, a, a hammer, a cudgel, right? That's what it is? Um, yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Yep. Uh, uh, basically, a spectral cudgel suddenly starts floating in midair. Kind of scary. Okay, um, right, you do that. The big Ophus lunges forward with his huge meat hammers and tries to basically take a huge swing at you, but he misses. Kia, what do you want to do? <laughs> magic missile. Oh, okay. Straight right. for the serious stuff. Um, you magic yeah. missiling the big guy in the front? Yeah. Okie dokie, go for um, it. And Beauty, it'll four plus with, two. with the maximized spell feet. Oh, so okay. So uh, now maximize which which maximize spell do you have? Um uh, is it huh? the one that is it the one that does the times 50% yeah, on the times, variable? Yeah, times 1.5. Okay. So and it's just on the just on the variable, right? So that's oh. just on the d4. <laughs> Holy crap. Um so that adds another that adds another 4. Um I it think adds- the depends on which feet you have. Is it check to see? Does it only affect the variable, like the the dice that are rolled and not the pluses, or does it affect the pluses as well? Which feet did you get? Yeah, it's called it's, maximize spell, and let me say here. Um. Take a quick look. Love you it. Should, <laughs> I just gotta say, Satchmo did no one of the idea. great, the great name no for this idea. guy. Okay. Just saying. Yeah. And which one is it? You, you which feet did you say it was called? Which one do you have? Maximize spell. <laughs> oh, maximize spell. Okay, hold on there. <laughs> Let me tell you real quick then. I want to double check because there's there's two yeah, that are very. Yeah, I've never used it. There's two that are very similar, and one of them. Um, the, I'm so excited right now. <laughs> maximize spell. Okay, let's see. All variable numeric effects, yes. So it only affects the dice that you roll, not the pluses. Okay, That's what I so thought. Plus, plus so basically, four, okay. that adds an additional four. So you you blast this guy, two glowing <laughs> balls of light, slam this guy, one on each nipple, um, <laughs> for 14 points of damage, and he's lit up like a Christmas tree. Um, basically, it knocks him flying. He lands on his ass. He's like stunned and barely conscious. He's like, Ugh. um, as soon as that happens, this guy turns around. He's like, what the? And like, s- stands ready to defend himself. This guy over here also hearing that spins around and is looking somewhat bewildered. Okay, Radovan. I'm looking smirk. smirk. So the guy who got the nipster, who got nipped, right? Yeah, he's a lot. He he's, al- he, he's <laughs> alive, but he's like, on um, crit. I mean, he he's like really okay. badly hurt. I mean, he's burned all over his body. He's like lit up. So we talked about this um, off stream. I can't move and a- I-, I can move an attack, but my spiritual weapon kind of takes a turn or something. Uh, you right, have there's... to right if you don't move. Um. Basically, you can concentrate on as long as you can concentrate on your spiritual weapon, it can attack. Okay, so that's I want to do that um, to the guy who said what the who I tried to kill earlier. Okay, this guy. All right. So um, it basically makes an attack. By itself. Yeah. Okay. So go ahead and make your dice roll. Is it the same as what I have? Um, I believe so. It make I think it makes an attack just the same as you do. But the damage is different. Uh, right, the matter. spectral the spectral hammer swings at him and misses. But it definitely he's like, huh? like looks up as he sees this glowing this glowing morning star swinging around his head. Um, um Gore, is that a window right beside me? 
The, um, no, it's not. Okay. No. There's a back door, but, <laughs> and there is a window, but it, it's on the, the northern end. Okay. Okay, um, so, uh, Kia. Um, the guys on the floor are almost unconscious, right? Yeah, he, he is, he is not a well man. Okay, so I don't need to really worry about him. No. All right. Um, I'm going to... Is this the guy that tried to touch me earlier? Yes. Then I'm laying that one on him. I'm going to magic missile. Try to do it right in his Okay, so uh, you're going to blast him again. Okay, 2d4 blast plus 2. Blast his balls. Ball blast <laughs> Yes! All magic. Read Blow him minds. away. For seven, seven, so that's Damn. eight, nine, plus one more, so it's still ten. Okay, ten. you blast him. Um, it kind of, same thing. I mean, it knocks him flying as well. Burning balls. Okay, <laughs> at this point, Dude, um, this nice. guy over here, the other one, he's like, uh, uh, Blondie. Um, I didn't want to do this in the first place, and he uh -huh. turns and starts running <laughs> like deeper into the into the barn. He's like, he doesn't want anything to do with it. Um, this guy, he says, as he stands there, no, uh, we can talk about this. We, we, we can discuss this. He kind of looks down at his friend. He's like, we didn't mean any harm. We were just trying to have some fun, that's all. Mm -hmm. This is what you consider fun? Well, it was harmless. They didn't mind. Local girls, you know, probably used to it. And they're, I mean, they're, they're basically crying, sobbing wrecks at this point, the two girls. I, I look at Kia and I give her like a, <laughs> yeah, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta take this a step further. And then I move further, I move in to, towards him. Hi. Right. Oh, there you go. And I hold up my quarter staff. All right. But he drops his shield and his sword on the floor. He's like, no, no, seriously, seriously. He says, it's all right. I, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean nothing by it. He says, you're not going to club me to death, are you? I'm just, I'm an unarmed man. Uh, actually, I had no intention of clubbing you to death. Raysa, do you have a knife or something sharp? Uh, I'm going to come outside. around the corner. I shout this out. I shout <laughs> okay, outside. Okay, you're shouting it, yeah. Okay. I will come around the corner. I say it. <laughs> With your like nasty this? pointy dagger. Dagger will be great. You, sir, drop trowel. Let's go. Okay, so you're going to, like, frog march him out of here? Oh no, I'm castrating him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking his. I'm taking I it. I knew this is where I was going. I didn't expect this is, that. Okay. This is Cuthbert, man. He wanted to have his way. It was against the law. I'm taking him. I'm, I'm stripping him of that privilege. <laughs> that okay. was so like, oh no, I'm castrating him. <laughs> like, it was so just, you know. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, so I'm going to pass this to, uh, <laughs> to Radovan. Thank you. Bye. So you're gonna Come grab on. hold of him and attempt to castrate him. That's my plan. Okay. Um, as soon as he, as soon as you can, he's like just looking at you like this, and then when he suddenly uh, acknowledges, he's like, no, 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 <laughs> and he starts to try to back away from you. Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm having fun. No one's gonna be harmed. Hey, it's Nirvana all good. Just followed us. Sorry, I accidentally unfollowed. <laughs> she was so surprised at the castration. She was like, unfollow. Um, <laughs> unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> Jane of Honor! Wow. Okay. Um, uh, I go, Radman, Radman. Right, you, I mean, you'll have to, you'll you have to basically to dive on the guy because he's not going to voluntarily let you do it for sure. Of course, of course. So why don't we just tie, why don't we just tie up this guy naked and leave him here to die? That's pretty embarrassing. That's all you want to do? Hmm. Uh, I'm totally down with this. It just seems so cruel. So do you really want to go down to the level of like? Orcs and killers and well, okay, Whoa. we're killers. You wanted to leave him to die. He wants to make him live with what he did. But you're not like. Just let him suffer. So, so yeah, cut off his. Uh. So I, I I I stop and I look at the late the farmer's daughters right and I say, what would you like us to do? That's what I <laughs> I ask. Um, the youngest one is just crying and she's not able to answer. She's just <laughs> and the the biggest one she goes, murder the bastard. Mm. Straw <laughs> 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 There's plenty of straw laying around. Long straw we castrate him, short straw he lives. <laughs> uh, castrate. 
Kia, uh, you really want to just strip him naked and leave him there embarrassed Racer after what he Kia, did to both you? Both of you make a listening check, please, because you guys are still in the doorway. Nah. <laughs> oh, well, I already posted it. Okay, listening check. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and. Hold yeah. on. 16. Okay, Kia, you can hear what sounds like um, foot rustling footsteps coming from the right. And suddenly you notice like a guy suddenly bursts out from behind the barn and is running for it. The other guy. He kind of snuck out the back door. <laughs> Ooh, tell me. I have a bow. Oh, uh, seven to one bow, and that was my boat. Everybody wants him castrated. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a thumbs up, thumbs down kind of gladiatorial thing. I'm Caesar. Are you going to tell me that the guy's running? Kia, yeah, are you? Oh, are, yeah, are yeah, you, yeah. Okay, so okay. you're gonna you're gonna Wait, nudge to race that. I'm gonna swing Racer. around bow at the ready. Okay, so race. So race is gonna shoot this guy as he runs, huh? Yes, I okay, am. Okay, go ahead. Um, now I'm going to not go for a lethal shot. I want him to. I want to be able to like basically kidnap him and bring him um, back. Um, so, well, I mean, you. It, it's gonna be like, hard, I to, go for, hard like, to do with a bow. An ankle, like I'm not, I'm not heading for, like shooting for his upper half. I'm shooting for his lower half, like his leg to ca or calf or something. Okay, um, <laughs> so then it's a called shot, so you'll be at minus four. So, um, let's see, racer. Um, is he in point blank? Um, right now, yes, just this shot okay, he so will be. After would that, be, he won't be. So it's a minus four, so I'm at plus two yep. instead of plus six. Mm -hmm. Fifteen. Okay, yep, you hit him as he runs, hitting him in the leg, roll your damage, d6. Damn. Four. All right, yeah, the arrow basically slams straight into his leg, and it kind of, he trips and stumbles and falls over on the floor. Awesome. Okay, I mean, uh, he's going to get up and start trying to scrabble travels. off again unless somebody jumps on him. Well, I'll travels run at him. With, 10 to 1. Okay. I'll run at him with my rope and try and tie him up. Okie dokie, so you're charging this guy to do that. Okay, Radovan, inside. Yes. Um, what are you doing? I am going to try to tackle him to do my priestly duty. Okay, go ahead. Make an attack, a grapple. So a grapple is... <laughs> um, basically, it is your... That what priests do. <laughs> my grapple's four, but my base... So it's... My grapple's better than my base attack, apparently. Uh, well, your base attack... Um... Your grapple is based off of your base, but it's because um, you've got your your strength bonus of two. Yeah. So um, it's going to be the same. Oh, so it, all right. <coughs> just the damage won't be there. One d twenty plus four, right? Yeah. Sixteen. Okay. Let's see if he can. Nope. Okay. You dive on this guy, um, pinning him to the floor. He doesn't have any weapons in his hands, so um, all right. So you're holding him down. But it's kind of—it's going to be very hard for you to castrate him and pin him. Well, I don't kind of don't want to ask for help. Punch him in the head, knock him out. I'm, yeah, I'm I mean, not I got—I got to attack him. I mean, I got to try to I'm knock him out. I'm not helping you. Okay. Because I, you know, it's. So you're basically going to you, you're going to try to subdue this guy. You're going to have right. to handle it, his thing. Right. Well, I mean, <laughs> under the circumstances, he's pinned to the floor. He's already seriously intimidated. Um, it's not hard for you to bash this guy upside the head and, and render him unconscious. So you, you succeed in doing that. Okay. One of the That's girls like... comes over and kicks him in the ribs as hard as she can. Get out. Go. Leave. Okay. Please. Um, you don't have to Get tell him here. twice. She grabs her sister and runs out the door. Okay. I'm going to go outside too and turn away. Okay. Come help me. <laughs> okay. Meanwhile, Raysa is hog tying the other one over here. All right. Um, so yeah, he's unconscious. What do you want to do now? I'm gonna do it. Jeez. Just do it. Oh my gosh. Um, so Radovan, <laughs> using Kia's knife, my knife, administers. Oh, so Race's knife administers swift <laughs> sexual predator justice to this man. Um, um, do you wish to heal the wound, or are you just gonna leave him to bleed to death? Can I bandage it up? Not. Well, uh, no. I could heal the wound, right? And then. Yeah. It, it'll still not I mean, you be can heal there. the damage. He'll be <laughs> yeah. minus tackle, but All right. he won't bleed gonna, to death is the point. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to heal him up. I'm going to heal him up. Right, As he's ahead. doing that, I want to drag Blondie back into the 
into the barn to ask Radovan what we should do with him. That's your call, guys. Like, I did my thing, literally, so. Right, so I'm, doing, I'm doing a light heal. Oh, well, You did his matter. thing, literally. I did his thing. <laughs> but I, I heal it up so, you know. Okay. Go ahead. What spell are you using? Just a cure light? Or Just a cure light wounds, yeah. A D8 plus three. Oh, plus three? Well, I did plus two, and it oh, was oh, well, big. Yeah, you, you, basically, he has a, you know, the the damaged area <laughs> is no longer wounded, but it is it is minus some parts. So, yep. Um, yep. Okay. Oh my God. I'm not happy with myself, guys. Just so you you know, <laughs> I, I I look very sour and I look very unhappy and I just you know I turn away and I walk out the door. I don't even acknowledge the other guy because I'm just like right. well, this guy here myself. is barely alive. This guy here is still unconscious, um, and you got you've got Blondie over here tied up. With an arrow in the, he used to be an adventurer till he took an arrow in the knee. <laughs> so um, yeah. What do you want to do with this guy? Um, I'm gonna confer with them. And say, what do you want? To, what are we gonna do with him? We want to take him for justice, or? Ugh, I don't care. I am not staying in here. I think <clears throat> strip this guy naked and tie him up next to the other motherfuckers. Message received, right? Right. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he's she's too much of a doofus. You know, he's blonde. Just like, come on. Yeah. Yeah. I go ahead. Tie him up to uh, <laughs> tie him up inside the horse the horse cage there. Yeah. Let the horse have its way with him. You know. <laughs> All right. Okay. So you so, gonna, you you tie these guys up. Looting. Okay. So you're gonna rob them as well. Um, <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Well, you know how hey, you've gone this hey, far. You know what? We are so mean. Raisa <laughs> believes that she it's it's justified. Well, you know, even I mean, after they... you cut off someone's junk, it's still justified. Well, the, the, you know, I mean, is it call it a fine? I guess, huh? <laughs> it's additional penance for what they've done. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, okay, so Racer, you're going to search through um, both of these guys' pockets? Is? Absolutely. Alright. Um, there is 14 gold pieces in the ringleader's pocket and 12 silver. And um, the nipple fetish guy has got 7 gold and 8 <laughs> copper. Okay, and what about Blondie? Um, Blondie has got 3 gold and five silver. Cool. That's it. Nothing. Nothing cool. Well, I mean, other than well, the... you got you got his jewels. You want you know? I can hand. I, you can have them. No, those, those are all yours. <laughs> no, I I, I, just, I just throw these like I just throw them aside. I don't care. Right at this point, Hello? um, a burly looking guy carrying a rake comes charging up to you. What the bloody hell's going on here? Uh, justice, sir. Relax. Your daughters are fine. He goes, oh, I heard what was going on, all right. And he looks in through the door and goes, is that them, then? What's left of them, yes. Right, he kind of yeah. walks over to the one that you've got tied up and rears back with his rake. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's time for us to leave. Yeah, ladies, yeah, let's, let's, let's go. Let, let's get the hell He's out. Like, Why I order? He goes, still. <laughs> he goes, where are you lot going? You haven't given me a chance to say thank you yet. Oh, well, we thought you wanted to uh, have your, have your own. First. Yeah. <laughs> he says, nope. He goes, uh, party. this one here, he says, mm, probably do good justice if you would drag him with you and hand him into the watch at Scarrow. Let him know what went on. He goes, of course, if you leave him here, who knows what might happen to him. <laughs> <laughs> That's the choice is yours, sir. Our lips are sealed. Yeah, it's not really Scarrow's business about these guys. It's it's whatever well, you. We are under their jurisdiction, technically. Do they enforce the law in your barn often, or ever? Well, never, that matter? never had an incident like this before. The bloody traveling folk that come through here. Well, we don't like them coming down to the farm. Always up to no good, causing problems. They tried to hurt your daughters. He says, I know that. He it, said, it so all. if you leave it down to me, well. 
if they're never found. <laughs> I'm just gonna shrug. Like, and this is a problem because. Oh, he doesn't Let's care. Let's get out of here. Honestly, I think it's it's your call. And while you might be under their jurisdiction, the offense was done to your family. And I for an eye justice, I like that. I can accept that. So I respect, I mean, uh, uh, we will not mention what you choose to do with these guys. Uh, we have your back no matter what happens. And I hope your daughters realize that too. Alrighty. Um, he says, well, uh, before you go, he said, if you'd like some supplies and um, anything, be over to the farmhouse. The missus will be sure to take care of you. You got more buns? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> and more of that Souls. beer if you want some. I'll, I'm so, let's, I, I need to drink tonight away. You Alrighty. did something very unmentionable today, Redman. Let's uh, never speak of it again, unmentionable. guys. <laughs> I'm going to bring it up whenever you're mad at me. <laughs> you Don't dealt worry. with somebody's unmentionables. Okay. <laughs> um, as we walk back to wherever we go, I'm going to give each of them eight gold pieces. Thank you. Uh, Alrighty, you have money. So I found this on them, guys, and uh, Redman, can I grab my dagger back, please, darling? Well, you gotta have to clean it, and I hand it back. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna like <laughs> rub it in the grass, <laughs> clean it off, right? Okay, yeah. so um, after you have dealt with them, you go back to the caravan. Um, Boris kind of comes over. He says, "Uh, well, what happened then?" Well, you just got us now. We'll oh. protect you. Oh well, fair enough. Didn't really like their assault anyway. Seemed untrustworthy. Yes. And I apologize for the incident that uh, happened earlier. You must understand, I, I realize now that it probably wasn't your doing, but I can't be having no infighting in the caravan. This is not good for morale. Well, listen, sir. You need to fix your shit. <laughs> Pay for life. <laughs> your nonchalance in this incident really makes me not, not give a crap about you and your caravan. We're simple. We're simple merchants. They're armed thugs. What are we supposed to do? No, they're not armed anymore. <laughs> he says, "Well, uh, you know, quite, but it was definitely something more along your line of work than mine. I think you'll agree. After all, you are a priest of Saint Cuthbert, and if they were doing something, you know, morally unjust or against well, the law, you, you know your place, it. You're lucky we came along. All right. You know what they were doing." You didn't even well, go, uh, <laughs> you didn't even call, you outnumber them, right? I mean, look at how many people are here. A simple mob would have been enough to stop them from doing their thing and gotten justice. He said, well, maybe, but you try getting this lot to do anything. Well, then what good is the caravan, what good is your caravan with guards if they don't do anything? This is where the car with the guards, we don't have any guards. They were the guards, we only well, hire no. mercenaries. Fair enough, fair enough. Now where are your guards? <coughs> All right. Well, I, I thank you nonetheless. And while you didn't actually protect the caravan physically, you did at least protect it morally, so I'll throw a couple of extra gold your way at the end of the journey to say thank you. Thank you. That'll be that'll be fine. Alrighty. Um, you guys want to do anything else the rest of the evening, or...? Um, did we get anything from the farmhouse? Um, did you go by the farmhouse and get supplies, or did you just leave I... it? I would have liked to have, because Radvan needed his warm buns, and... <laughs> <laughs> and beer. Okay, so a you whiskey. basically went and got yourself a, you know, a basket of buns and, and a full flagon of beer. Okay, cool. All right, so yeah, you guys have got mm -hmm. that. All right. Alrighty. Um, well, yep. I mean, other than the unpleasant incident that happened earlier this evening, nothing else really happens. Um, the next day, you leave the farm behind you and continue on your way towards Scarrow. You travel through the hillside. Yeah. <laughs> on this pleasant summer's day, the rolling green hills dotted with wild flowers seem so peaceful and tranquil. Um, by evening, the hills are behind you and, and to your left set way back off the road. As we're about here. Um, way back off the road, you can see on the horizon the vast expanse of the woodlands. This would be the Forest of Scarrow. The road begins to veer slowly northwestward, taking you closer to the forest. As the night begins to move in, once again you hear the loud voice of Boris calling his caravan to a halt and setting up camp once more for the night. <coughs> <clears throat> Trees? 
Um, Don't nope, think so, right? Kind of right here in the open. <laughs> but uh, they just didn't seem to want to spend. They didn't want to get closer to the forest this evening. So um, the talk amongst the caravan seems to be that you should arrive in Scarrow probably by late afternoon tomorrow. Okay. Just rest. All yeah. right. Well, um, going on. As, uh, wait. As we're falling asleep, I'm gonna say. Ah, oh, Radovan, remember that one time at the bar at the barn when you cut someone's balls off and then just like <laughs> fall asleep. That, that, that was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> just subtle reminder, she's not gonna let you live that down. <laughs> no, that is the most ridiculous thing that's ever happened. Remember re- remember that oh, you're sleeping already, right? right. Yeah, I'm already So I, I just talk at you and I say, Remember that time Cal got stuck by a spider web? And then, you know, I'm like, damn it, she didn't hear me. <laughs> I'm going to roll my eyes. <sighs> Alrighty. Good night. And we all get a pretty good night's rest. Um, it's the fourth day on the road now, and you are beginning to feel a little travel weary. Today, the promise is that you should make it to Scarrow by late afternoon. Um, the weather today is one uh, is once again pleasant and clear. Um, This at least helps your spirits, Uh, and by mid-morning you can see the huge pine forest expanse that is the Forest of Scarrow to your left. You look onwards, um, and and estimate it must cover some 50 to 100 square miles at least, and is probably home to all kinds of creatures, both natural and possibly unnatural. Later that afternoon, you can see ahead of you a large expanse of water and a town that is nestled between the forest and the banks of the huge lake. This would be Lake Scaramere. As your cart trundles into Scarrow, you are aware of a tall wooden palisade wall that runs along the town's northwestern edge, offering a barrier between the forest and the town itself. Green-clothed militiamen patrol the palisade, and a tall watchtower can be seen upon the wall at a more central point. The town itself is made up of well-constructed and sturdy wooden buildings, Advanced architecture was clearly deployed here when these were built. And there is great detail and care taken in even the smallest details, from the carvings upon the shutters to the trimmings around the doors and windows. (coughs) Okay, your caravan passes by a lumber mill to the left of the road, a large elaborate inn to the right. It eventually turns down a side road to the right and travels down past the town smithy, towards the lake and the dock area. Finally, it comes to rest at the edge of the docks and two large warehouses. Boris comes to you and offers his hand in thanks. Well, I appreciate your services, my friends, but uh, I do believe I owe you uh, ten gold pieces each. Thank you, sir. We Thank you. Pretty, we didn't really enjoy our time, but thanks for letting us come, I guess. Well, uh, you know, I understand that there were some unpleasant things going on, but, um, you know, at least we managed to take care of those issues as best we could. Well, uh, I recommend that you possibly go and, uh, rest yourselves down there at the inn. Thank you. Thank you. He said it's a splendid inn, and I recommend you make your way back there and sample some of the smoke whistler freshly caught this morning, I'd be sure. And that's to die for. And that corn mash whiskey that they brew here ain't bad either. Glancing at you ladies, he says, uh, Oh, and the nettled wine is quite pleasant. I might see you there myself later this evening. And with that, he goes back to attending his caravan. Okay. So here you guys are. Can, can, should we do like a um, break? Um, that is exactly what we're going to do. Yep. I love you, man. <laughs> you need a pee. <laughs> it's all the whiskey, man. <laughs> Alrighty, we are going to take a quick break. Well, I know we're probably pretty famished from the road. Dirty bath time. Oh, yes. Uh, in time, yeah. Okay, so you right guys are going to... And you know where the inn is because you passed it. It's directly opposite the lumber mill. So you're gonna, you guys are going to head to the inn? Right. Please, yeah. yeah. Alrighty. Um, let's move you to the inn. Okay, the inn is named the Woodchuck Inn and Tavern. Woodchuck? How, yeah, how much wood would a woodchuck chuck? If a woodchuck could in fact chuck wood, which he can't. So. <laughs> <laughs> Way to get technical. 
<clears throat> All right, there you are, guys. Um, there is the inn. So, um, basically, outside the inn itself, um, it is a splendid inn. It has a long outdoor balcony where a few people sit supping their drinks and enjoying the summer evening. Inside is lined <laughs> with fine long tables which seat eight and a fine L-shaped oaken bar. Stairs near the center lead up to its two, um, two upper floors where some, um, ample guest rooms are situated. There is a large fireplace in the far left corner of the inn, although it is not lit, but nonetheless seems like it would be very, very, very um, capable of warming the tavern should it turn cold. There you go. Awesome. Um, there are several patrons dotted around the place, um, some resting at a table while others um, seem content to sit and prop up the bar. A serving wench and a servant rush around the place delivering fare and drinks while a large balding barman stands polishing mugs and bantering with his locals. Ooh, I think we should make our way in. Alrighty. Oh yeah. <laughs> Muffin. So, hey yeah. Radovan, see any uh, see anyone you like in here? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> very funny. Uh, let's just you know get rested, get cleaned up, get fed. So probably talk to the bar keep. Yes. Sounds good to me. Alrighty, you head over to the bar. Uh, once you get there, the burly looking gentleman says. Hello, hello, welcome, welcome. What can I do for you? Um, there is a, a faint aroma of... Um, there is definitely a faint aroma of fish, but then that's kind of been here ever since you first walked in to the, or came into the town. Um, there's also a smell of, like, ginger in the air. A flight of booty, thanks for the follow. <laughs> Yay! And Gurensu, thank you for the follow. Yay! Wow. <laughs> okay. Yes. Um, I'm gonna look at Radovan like you're talking. Oh. Yep. Oh. Um. <laughs> we would like some food and drinks, and possibly a place to stay for the nights. He says, "Well, that's not a problem. We've got plenty of room. Plenty of room. Um, and what can I get you for supper tonight?" He said, "We have smoked Whistler on the menu." Ooh. It's been recommended. He said, no doubt it has been recommended. He said, did you know the Whistler fish can only be caught in Lake Scaromere? Well, as far as we know, anyway. Well, bring well, it we on. We better try it. Yeah, yeah. please. Good. He says, not a problem, not a problem. He said, and uh, what can I get you to drink? We have some fine ales. We have some whiskey that is brewed here. Done. Corn mash whiskey brewed here locally. <laughs> whiskey, and please. we have some nettle wine. Not a not I'll, a problem. I'll try a cup of your wine. Alrighty, he says. Well, uh, if you make your way to a table, I'll send them over to you most uh, most quickly as I can get them out to you. I look at Risa because she's the table decider. Uh, that corner, I bet. Yep. Uh, yeah, she's gonna head over here <laughs> to her typical corner spot. <laughs> okay. So, well, there's already Survey. two people stand sitting at this table. They kind of look at it. you rather strangely as you walk <laughs> over and just prop prop yourself down. I didn't see them. <laughs> They're like, uh... Just go with it! Just go with it! Would you like to sit down? <laughs> uh, by all means, if you'd like a seat, go ahead. Um, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I totally didn't see them. <laughs> Insignificant peasants, that's what they are. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> I'm still sitting here, you know. It's a big table. There, right. yeah. No, we're we're fine. I'm just gonna look at them like end. Like, there's lots of room. I'm just gonna sit down, not say anything. Okay. Um. Well, they kind of sit there and fumble around, kind of semi awkwardly. <laughs> like, you know, the conversation that they were having has come to a, a an an unpleasant stop. Um. At this point, they kind of oh uh. My glass is empty. Is yours empty? Yeah, let, let's go and get a refill. And they move over to the bar. <laughs> in, in a place Are that's... Are you sure you don't want your... Uh, nope, they're gone. Um, Alright. In a place that smells an awful like, like, lot like fish, you would think we'd be welcome, right? Yeah. Like our, you know, we counterbalance <laughs> it. Well, you, yeah, you are kind of stinky. 
<laughs> yeah, but we don't smell like fish. Right. Yeah. Yeah, okay, sure. Uh, you know, after a few minutes, the uh, waitress comes over and she brings you um, a large plate. Um, it looks the Whistler fish. It's imagine like a um, almost. It, it's kind of like a very small swordfish type shape, but instead of a long sword, it actually has like a long funnel-like mouth, um, much like a whistle. Um, okay. She kind of lays it down, and you can smell. There's like this, you know, hints of spices like ginger and stuff are are lifting up from it. As she sits it down on the table, and then she hands you a glass of um, their sour mash whiskey, and puts a bottle of their finest nettled wine on the table with glasses. I would like to kind of strike up a casual conversation with the waitress, um, and just ask if she knows of a fellow by the name of Baron Lightstaff. Baron Lightstaff, Baron Lightstaff. I've heard that name, but I don't know where from. Uh, wait. Really? Light? Isn't isn't that a little weird that there we were told there's a, a magician of sorts, a wizard or sorcerer or whatever here, and you don't know who he is? Oh, a wi- is that what he is? A wizard? Well. I've never really seen him, but I heard some people talking that there was a strange fellow that had moved here about a year ago and spent most of his time just fishing. But no one ever said he was a wizard. But I do remember his name was Lightstaff or something like that. Hmm. So he goes fishing, so I imagine he's on the docks or in a boat? Well, maybe. I don't know. Uh, yeah, ladies, that's that's your department. I'm not going out in the water. <laughs> um... <laughs> Shadowman does not float. <laughs> and I'm just gonna kind of look at her and extend my hand to say, like, as if to like thank her for the stuff. But in my hand, I'm just gonna have like a few silver pieces. Okay. And I'm just gonna say, if you happen to hear anything in in the next little while about where he might be, it would be extremely helpful. Um. Well, absolutely. Uh, honestly, I don't know where he is, but um, you know. I haven't I haven't seen him. But I heard I heard rumor that there was a strange fellow walking around. But as I said, I haven't seen him myself. Well, you know, if you happen to talk to somebody in the next little while who might know. Will do. Thanks, ma'am. Okay, she kind of wanders back off and goes over and starts taking care of some other people. So, okay, okay. Guys. so you're, you're left with a big old plate full of steaming smoked fish and your beverages. Nom nom nom. <laughs> pretty, pretty much. No, we're we're nomming si- down. <laughs> we're not very I'm good surprised, at. Comment. I'm surprised yeah. you can eat right now, Radvan. Very surprised. <laughs> what? Are you, what? Uh, what? <laughs> yeah, don't you want to wash your hands? Why do we have to keep bringing this up, guys? Come oh. on. I don't know what you're talking about. I was just like, surprised because you didn't look hungry, I guess. But, uh, what are you, you yeah, referencing? No, just... Are you talking about balls? Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Our group conversations are, have always either been full of tension and strain or full of <laughs> awkward weirdness. Like, we gotta find a middle ground where we could eat in peace. Okay. Well, you don't want to talk about your past. You don't want to have a casual conversation. I don't, I don't hear you volunteering information about your past. Well, I don't like telling people unless they ask me. That feels like I'm just pushing it on Oh, them. so I have to, like, <laughs> automatically ask? Like, what? Yeah. Hey, like, Theo, by the way, let past. me tell you. Yeah. <laughs> See, that's not how I operate. I mean... <sighs> how are we gonna man. get over this, man? We got to work this out, man. We got to stay together. I mean, obviously, we're in this together, right? We've been through Al and back. Yeah, but you hate us. I don't hate you. <laughs> Very obvious well, you hate us. No, we, I, I think the feeling's mutual. I don't see you guys going above and beyond to, you know, make sure I'm okay. Well, no, that's... Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Look, I don't... I don't... I don't... Personality-wise, I don't mind you guys at all. You guys are fine. Well, sort of. I, I, I don't know what to say. For once, I don't know what to say. Well, Is that an apology? We should all sleep in the same room together so we can force each other to uh, <laughs> be friends. Oh, Close quarters. God. 
Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, who's gonna sleep where? Like, what if there's only one bed? What's what's the deal? I have to be on the floor, huh? Yeah, yeah. Gentlemen. Gentlemen. Relevant's not much of a gentleman, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Look, all I know is that we're in this together. We've had some tough times. I don't want there to be this, you know, continual tension and conflict between us. And you there's mentioning what I did the other day is not helping. There's... The moment I met you, you were so racist against both of us. And I don't know when you're going to let up. We've obviously proven ourselves. We like to poke yourselves. fun of you because you hate us so much. You've proven and disproven. I mean, I've seen it both ways. You guys left me in that goblin cave. I didn't leave you. You hey, ran I told out you the to door! Run. I told you to run. That's There's no... I, we didn't not leave a... you. You didn't follow the plan. What plan? All these the plans plan. that keep coming up are are not like agreed upon before. They're agreed upon beforehand, but then not carried through. I mean, what plan? There was no plan in that goblin cave. You guys just shouted out, "Run!" Oh, you wanted to sit down and talk about it. <laughs> I go to to get Hans Falafel to join us, and Kia charms him just like out of the blue. I, I mean, I'm sorry, but, you know, she didn't even, you didn't even let me try. He was going to come with us anyway. As I would have let you try. Well, you weren't there, but Kia, you charmed him. All right, my bad. I, I for some reason, didn't think he would come, so but I guess I was too like, hasty. I, I know how to talk to humans, being one. <sighs> I'm not it's good at talking to people. S Sally doesn't count, so let's ignore her, right? Okay. But... All right, so how can we, how can we do this better? How can we? Well, I guess we should decide cohesive. on what our plan is going forward. Like, what, what is our goal? Like, where, where are we heading now? We got to find this wizard guy. Yes, and apparently he fishes. I, what wizard fishes? Really, I don't understand this. Who are Maybe, these people with? Obviously, the, the townspeople don't know who he is. Which is weird, right? Because Ash well, maybe, maybe. Yeah, maybe he's retiring from his wizard ways or his public wizard ways. <laughs> okay. Mm. I let you guys do what you guys do best. Please let me do what I do best. Give me At least give me a chance to. So what is it that you do best? We don't know you. I don't know any of you. Okay, well maybe this is the conversation we need to have. Because uh, moving forward, I mean, going into dangerous situations, we need to know what each other is capable of. Well, you guys are actually going to have a, dis a social discussion. This is going to be interesting. I know, right? <laughs> this well, is like I get to know everybody. This is cool. This is the first time that you guys have actually sat around a table and actually bothered to communicate. <laughs> yeah, well, obviously, we we're all sick of us being in front of them. So. Well, you guys, you guys can't just keep trying to. Him. You're, I'm not sick of you. That's not accurate. I just, I've, my experiences with elves have not been favorable. So I'm sorry, I will try to be more uh, measured with how I judge, especially when it comes to you guys, since we're in it together. I mean, we got to get this thing off of our arms, right? Right. It's I'm worried about say, how... Oh, I'm saying we've all saved each other's lives already. We owe each other everything already. So I guess I don't know why I still feel... Not very connected. Okay. Risa? I... <laughs> I'm just concerned about <laughs> your arm glowing. That scared me. And Yes, that scared me too, because that was not... That's not who I am. That could have gone a... really bad. Right. For all of us. Like, we need to refocus, so... I've never be been one to fit in. And I don't know how to fit in with anybody. So. What okay. is your last name, Raisa? <laughs> uh, <laughs> now we're getting personal. <laughs> why would you ask? I feel like. Where are you from, Raisa? Uh. Uh, Raisa, well. What is your last name? 
Crazy. Well, uh, where are you? Uh, uh, um, does it matter? <laughs> Your name, it just talking about. It sounds so familiar now. I've, I've heard that name before. Well, where did you, where are you from? Uh, I don't remember the town that I, I don't remember the name of the city I'm from. It was really a long time well, ago. Well, I grew up in, in Aren Earthel. But that that was a long time ago. Are you of the royal family? More whiskey, please. Raisa, I know you. I know you. I've seen you before. Every oh my goodness. Hey, God, love. That, that, thank you. Oh Jesus, I need more. Um, Bring, keep bringing more. Yeah, yeah, I, I am. <laughs> you pleased to talk about you. Sorry, I guess that's how I knew. Everybody talks about me. Hmm. Well, sorry to bring that up. It's okay. <laughs> oh, I'm so sad. <laughs> the social awkwardness of the group just got worse instead of better. <laughs> It's like y'all trying to get to know each other, and then it's like, oh, we we really don't want to know each other. Just 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 saying, we just don't want to know each other. <laughs> just avoid it. This is why we haven't had these conversations before. Just, just... okay. <laughs> Everyone, Rachel kill the elephant so in the room. So sad. So sad. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so like playing my character. I'm actually crying right now. Oh. Really? Yes. Aww. No, I just because I know I'm trying to channel her, right? Right. <sighs> Channel the role play. That's it. Mm, put my hand on her shoulder. I'm so I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to to scare you. I just <laughs> it totally clicked in my head right now. I've seen you. I've heard your name before. We must be from the same city. <laughs> Radaman, interject, please. Yeah, shit got Look, real. Okay, I will say this. My name is Radaman Rainier. I say my name you to whoever my I possibly <laughs> Kia, okay, please. All right. Sorry. I say my name to everyone I meet because I was I was an orphan when I was little and I was left at an orphanage by someone and I was born and raised by an abusive mother asshole but he kept me alive and he taught me the ways of St. Cuthbert maybe not the way he should have taught me but then I did my thing I went through the motions and now I go around my job is actually to indoctrinate, indoctrinate people into the order as you can see, this doesn't always happen. And I drink a lot, thanks to that guy. What's his name? Whatever. I don't care. And that's that. That's why I say my name, because maybe I'll find someone in one of these godforsaken shitholes that has my name or recognizes Radovan Rainier. And God damn it, I need more whiskey and I need a bath. <laughs> He's knocking it down fast. <laughs> wow. Right? So I'm there, so... now you know who I am, more or Sorry. less. We all had horrible stuff in the past, I'm sure. But <laughs> we're gonna die, guys. Like, this thing, it, it's doing stuff to us. It obviously did something to me. And we need to, we need to find whoever these witches or wizards are. I'm sorry, Kia. I'm, I'm, I'll try to be better with you guys. I don't want to be against you guys. Because... Uh, excuse me, sir. Not, not meaning to interrupt. What? Um, what? Governor said to bring you the bottle. He puts uh, uh, like the uh, he puts like a large bottle of the Saramash whiskey on the table. It's like half empty already. You're you're a good lady. Thank you. Uh, man. Hmm. I'm a man. <laughs> Wait, you are? Oh. <laughs> I'm a man. I was, I, you know, I've never been accused. Man. I've never been accused of. I've never been accused of being a woman before. Oh, oh blimey. You got some good stuff here, man. That's all I gotta say. You got some good stuff. Like, so it's good. Thank you. Because you, you come over here, you bring a man a bottle of whiskey, and he turns around and insults you. No, I, I'll pay you. Unbelievable. I'll pay, I'll pay extra. I'm sorry. The last thing I meant to do was offend you, sir. I'll give you, you know, I'll give you some, I'll give you some good spending money. You can buy more fish or whatever. Oh, well, whatever. I don't mind right. a good tip. There you go. I'll make up for it. 
All right. Okay. He heads. He heads back over. Yeah, you didn't notice. I actually switched the wait. I switched the waitress for the waiter on you. <laughs> I'm too drunk to know now. See, that's I'm what you sorry. need. You need to pay more attention to the map. That's what's going on. <laughs> Jesus, that was funny. <laughs> okay, so after insulting okay, so the local, the local staff, insulted the staff, yeah. <laughs> just Red Event's mo. He t- he he always pisses at least one server off in every tavern he goes to. I think. <laughs> oh, I'm such a jerk. Okay. Okay. Anyways, that's that. <clears throat> All right, so Red Event has now got plenty of whiskey to keep him, you know, toasty with his rosy. His, you probably got that rosacea look about your character by now. Like you drink so much, it's probably like permanently like ingrained in your face. <laughs> got it. All right. So, um, <laughs> do you guys want to get a room or get a room? Um, yeah. Yo, I'll follow you, sleep. ladies. We can sleep separate. I apologize yeah. we don't have to sleep in one bedroom anymore <laughs> sorry for snooping in your life that was some some deep stuff there there you wow. go right so i'm gonna kind of at the like the breakup of the conversation i'm gonna kind of like make my way over to the bar and get a room and just kind of disappear and get my bath and 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 go to bed for the night okay um so you're kinda gonna look over at radovan like, so you're gonna, well, you're gonna I totally secure three screwed. rooms yeah, yeah, I'll tell her that we need three and then head up to mine. I'm just going to kind of be like a little sketched out, a little like just more more introverted than I have been. Just right. and Yeah, because you're, you're all kind of like feeling vulnerable and stuff now. So Yeah. yeah. Right. yeah. Yep. I, I look at Kia and go, what did I miss? What happened? What do you mean? What, what, what happened? Why is she... Why is she leaving us? Off the map because she went upstairs. Um. So funny thing is, I turns out Race and I are from the same city, and I just remembered just now her name. She was made fun of a lot back then. I don't remember hardly anything. I just remember nobody liked her. I think she just got really embarrassed. And you guys call me the racist. <laughs> 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 Shut up, Radovan. I'm trying to be serious. Me too. I think I'm good. I, yeah, I'm, uh, yeah. I pick up the bottle and Radovan stumbles upstairs. Right. <laughs> so you stumble all the way up the stairs, leaving Pretty much. Kia downstairs by herself. Alright. <laughs> I'm gonna go to bed, I guess. <laughs> Sit there for maybe half an hour and then go to go up the stairs. Alrighty, so you retire as well, okay? Yes. Hi. <laughs> so all three of you make your way up to your rooms. Um, the rooms are extremely comfortable. Um, there's some beautifully carved furniture in there. The beds are very lavish and well made. Um, definitely the nicest inn you guys have stayed in so far by Oops. by by a long shot. Um, I mean, there's every room has actually got like its own separate basin, um, and there appears to actually be like a hand pump where you can get water. Whoa! Whoa! One second, guys. Hold on. One second. Oh! Finally, <laughs> stop. W- stop <laughs> where we are, guys. Um, just hold on one I'm second. Out. I'm out. Stop <laughs> Quick the presses. Time out. Um, yeah. So, um, where are we? (laughs) So, Milk um, said, do I see a TARDIS? (laughs) Okay, so what is that all about? Um... Well, we have decided periodically we're going to have some little giveaways and we're going to do them in a very unconventional way. Um, And we had decided that we was going to, yes, I hit a TARDIS on the map and the first person to actually say the word TARDIS was going to win a prize. And (laughs) bizarrely enough, it is Milk Me Softly um, who actually said that. Um, But... 
Um, you actually already have one. <laughs> 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 so, um, there you go. Congratulations, Milk Me Softly. You have won a Choose Your Weapon t-shirt. You already have one. Um, so, um... Now you have two! <laughs> you, you now have two! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> so, um, you can select, you can basically message, if you message the channel, um, and let me know what size you want it in, I will send it to you. I think the last one you had was an XL, I believe, but that was because that was the one we had. Um, so, yeah, congratulations. Um, you won a Choose Your Weapon t shirt from How We Roll. Um, you won that because you noticed our hidden little TARDIS. It's not really hidden, but yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's pretty obvious. People Several people said, it. is that a police box? But the key word was you had to say the word TARDIS, and Milk was the first one to say TARDIS. Okay, so um, I will send you one of those. Um, you will have opportunities to win them again in the future. Guys, lesson to be learned. We will not announce when we are going to do a giveaway. We will not tell you ahead of time. Um... But pay attention to the stream, pay attention to the maps and the overlays and stuff like that. And if you see something strange that looks remarkably out of place, such as a bright blue Artists. police box outside of a tavern, um, <laughs> <laughs> call it out, let us know, um, and you have your chance to win items as well in the future. So, yeah, congratulations, Milk Me Softly. Um, it's great because, like, one of these guys could be the doctor, right? I mean... Who knows? Who knows? Milk can give up her shirt to somebody if she wants. <laughs> he owed bad karma. Thanks for the follow. Uh, I mean, yeah, if Milf wants to, if Milf wants to um, throw it out there. Buckshot111, thanks for the follow, man. Follow um, So yeah, anytime, guys, if you're watching the stream, we will not tell you when we're doing a giveaway. We won't tell you. You're going to have to, it's going to be hidden somewhere in the stream. Don't promise we'll do it every week. But you know what? Um, next time, you need to open your mouths, and if you see something strange, put it in chat. This is, is this how... is, yeah, this is really just a way for us to keep the chat moving, right? <laughs> this <laughs> is our way. Pretty well, anyway. No, no, it um, moves great. So, yeah, it's, is, um, but... you know, um, so yeah, pay attention to the following streams, um, keep up with the streams, and you will have your chance to win, um, you know, either a Choose Your Weapon t-shirt or in the near future, maybe an actual How We Roll t-shirt. We will see. So, um, there you go. No problem. Milk me softly. I will. I still have your. Um... <laughs> There's a beautiful man named Gorbet on the screen. If I point out how crazy good looking he is, do I win? <laughs> no, see, stating the obvious, that's, you know, nope. doesn't, doesn't work. Nope. <laughs> oh, so, milk yes, just guys, gave it to um, there you go, man. I went to my D&D &D nights. That's it. So yeah, um, there's your chance. Um, pay attention in the future streams. Away. You will have a chance to win stuff as well. Um, it's just our way of giving you, you know, giving back to you guys and saying thank you. Um, you want to donate to the stream? You can do so. We use that money to do giveaways and other fun things to keep the stream um, rolling. So um, rolling. there we go. Rolling. So let's yeah. move on, guys. Congrats, optics. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> Did she actually do that, or is that what he's saying? No, no, she did. She, she gave it to him. Really? Okay. Well, optics. Then yes. Um, you in that case. Um, go ahead and optics. You need to message. Uh, message the. Don't message me. Message how we roll. So message this channel. And tell me what size you want. And don't forget to include your address so I can mail it to you. And uh, congrats. And that was very very nice of you, Milk. So that was that was very sweet. Thank you. Thank you for being awesome. Our dis. <laughs> so there you go. I'm glad it made you night. <laughs> all right, let's get back to it. So you guys have all gone up to your comfy super rooms with your hot water, um, and had a nice, nice rest. <laughs> Radavan probably sleeps like a brick. He's got three quarters of a bottle of whiskey in him already. So there we go. Alrighty. So, um, in the morning when they get up, I would like to already be downstairs. Alrighty. You are down. And I am in my position. Hiding in the corner. 
And hopefully <laughs> that waitress that was working last night might be working this morning, if I'm lucky. Oh, the waitress? Oh, you're looking for the, um... Yeah, she is. Trying to hit on her? Excellent. So I would like to speak <laughs> with her no, and see if she me. found any information out. Okay, sadly, she says, No, afraid not. Well, I did ask a few people, and um, one person said that they haven't seen him for the last couple of weeks, but they did know who I was talking about. But they said he okay. hadn't seen him for a couple of weeks. But, okay. um, Lemon50, thanks for the follow, man. But, um, if you're really... She says, if you want to know anything about what goes on here, you want to go and see Lord Cornelius. He knows everything. Oh. And when, where might I find him? Uh, well... Go outside, look around town, and when you see this one massive two-story house that's clearly bigger and nicer than every other house in town, <laughs> that would be him. Is he a particularly social man? Um, yeah, I suppose. Kinda, sorta. I mean, I don't really talk to him, being just a, you know, serving wench. I mean, he is a lord. Alright. Well, um, thank you for your help. It's not a problem, thank you. Do you want any breakfast? I would, please. And and some nice hot water. To drink. Oh, um, sure. Whatever. Thank you. Okay, she goes and gets you a glass of hot water. All right, we're going to take a very quick break. Alrighty, let's get back to it. Alright. So, Raysa, you went down this morning. You had a chit-chat with the, the serving girl. Yes, um, so I will be waiting for them to come downstairs to join me. I would put money on Kia comes down next. <laughs> Because yep. Radovan is probably nursing to, quite uh... quite the hangover. <laughs> so there's Kia. I approach kind of timidly and sit down. Hey. All right. Are I'm you um? Radovan, are you are you gonna try to get up early? Or are you gonna nurse that hangover? No, I didn't. Oh think so. no, I'm not getting up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm down for the count. <laughs> Um, so I'm going to basically talk to Kia kind of like nothing happened last night, just back to kind of the way things were. Maybe a little more timid, but not really like addressing the situation. Right. Okay. So when she comes and sits down, I'm going to be like, um, so I spoke with the serving lady this morning and, uh, she wasn't able to get very much information about our wizard friend, but she did tell me about a lord that we can go speak to who is fairly well socialized and would probably be your best source of any information. Well, I am taking the hint here. I <laughs> just want to bring it up. So I'm like, oh, oh, okay. Yeah, that sounds good. Where can we find him? She basically just said, look for the biggest house in the town and that will be his. Oh, perfect. The wealthiest dude here. Okay. Let's I'm do not it. Good at, I'm not good at speaking with people, so... Um, do you think we should wait for Radovan? Follow. Uh, no, he's not gonna get up. Let's just go talk to him ourselves. Did you want breakfast? Not particularly. Alright, let's go. Okay. <laughs> Are you two gonna go without Radovan? <laughs> Sorry, Radovan. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> uh, maybe not. Oh, that means we should go. Well, no, the only reason I say that is because he has always been the diplomat, and you guys usually fumble around. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Uh, maybe... Who wants to go wake him up? I'll go wake him up. Whatever. Okay, fine. You won me over, Gore. Young I'll go wake him up, Raysa. suggestion on how you should wake him up in chat. You should read that. He okay, suggests you have... Young Farmer Cal suggests Piano? you have Cal P on Radovan to wake him up. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Please! Okay. Thank you wait. for that suggestion. Wait, wait, wait. You go you're... up there, have Cal jump out, cut, cut, and cut, put him on top. Out of character, you're going to send a diplomat who smells like cat piss to talk to a lord? No, I don't expect Cal to pee on you at all. I just expect Cal to probably like do the cat massage thing, and then you're going to get just annoyed just gonna... that there's a cat. He's just going to, yeah, the cat's just going to wake you up. You might I'm have a pancake s- cat <laughs> afterwards, so consider that. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to go sit down in the chair next to Radovan's bed and then let Cal out. Okay. <laughs> well, Cal, Cal being of a somewhat way higher intelligence than the average cat, you know, it, it kind of like just starts going around and just patting him and dabbing on his nose and jumping out to the side and then Aww. patting him again and jumping out to the side and just keeps aggravating him until he starts to come, you know, starts to come awake. Uh, 
Uh, it's not what, stupid what? enough to get squished by a huge clerical hand. <laughs> what? <laughs> get, what? Is, what? No. Stop. Hello? Good morning. Oh, oh, Jesus, you. How's oh. your head? <laughs> oh. Uh-huh. Uh. <laughs> I hand him a cup of coffee. We gotta go. Where? What are we doing? What time is it? Lord Burger. What is it? Lord Cornelius. <laughs> Lord Burger? Oh. What? No, Light Stuff. Right? Light Stuff. Uh, no, no, no. That's Cornelius not Yarn Cornelius. Spinner. Lord Cornelius Yarn Spinner. Ooh, Let's Cornelius. go. Cornelius. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> okay. Yeah, just, you know, her love. Hold a bucket of water over the gun. <laughs> no, like wait, give me, give me, like till tonight. We'll we'll talk tonight. You know. <laughs> you got ten seconds. They're all sign magic missiling you. You're gonna magic missile ten, me. Nine. Okay. Okay. I'm up. I'm up. I'm, I'm right, gonna. Up. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Jeez, and you guys wonder why I don't like elves. Okay. I'm yeah, you don't get. You don't get to lay in when Kia's around. Yeah, no, okay. Okay, it's... so Radavan stumbles down the stairs. Yeah, lead the way. Do you want breakfast? Fuck, we got breakfast. Let's go. <laughs> There's no time for breakfast. You realize we're going to talk to a lord, Radavan. Oh, no. Really? Yes. Is that why you woke me up? Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. I'm oh, good. <laughs> Let's do it. Are you sure? All right. No, but we'll make it work. <laughs> Alrighty, so you guys are going to head back out the inn um, And I mean when you were down at the docks It was pretty obvious to you Which the huge big massive house was The one that was perched right on the edge of the lake So it's not too hard to find Number 8? Yes Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you're going to head over there? Yeah Yeah, let's go, let's do it Alrighty Okay, so you approach the Um the huge, um, big kind of two-story house. Um, it is like um, extremely fine. Um, white paneling covers the outer walls. The stone-walled structured um, framework holds the building together. Rested right there on the bank of the Scaramir. It sits slightly apart, yet close to town. There are fruit trees dotting around the grounds. Um, and a lavish, stately carriage is sitting out in the front of the uh, of the home. Several men at arms are also scattered around the premises for security. And you kind of, as you approach, they kind of stop and look at you, but they don't immediately come over and accost you. I'm just following right around. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 will it? They caught you accosting me, huh? Uh, no, they're, they're not. They're 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 just kind of oh. staring at you. Okay, that's, that's but they're that, doing that, that kind that, of that, tapping their weapons in their hand, looking yeah, at you like, "Hey, way too notice loud. that we're here, buddy." That's way too loud, you guys. Can you please stop tapping your weapons? Like, I know you're there. Okay, <laughs> it's not helping me. Uh, we're here to see Lord Ketchup or whatever. What's his name, ladies? Cornelius. Cornelius, that's the guy. One of one of them just kind of nods towards the door. And says, "Try knocking." Oh, you're not gonna open the door for us? Okay. Do I look like a? Yes. Do I look like a manservant or a skivvy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Alrighty. Um, you go bang on the door. The door to the Lord's Manor is opened by a well-dressed fellow. His navy blue pants and waistcoat cover a white shirt adorned with frills. His hair is tied is tied back neatly and tidily. He has long socks that are on the outside of his <laughs> breeches. Upon his feet are plain black shoes with a simple polished silver buckle on each. Okay, yes, may I help you? Uh, <laughs> Lord Cornelius. I will see if his lordship is receiving guests at the moment. Please, if you wouldn't mind kindly waiting here. In the foyer. Uh, can I have your names, please? Uh, my name's Rada Van Rainier. These are my friends, Kieliana and Risa. Friends? I know, we are both kind of like... Oh, no. <laughs> he said the F word. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, he wanders off down the hallway. Um, inside it is lavish as one may expect, um, and several servants can be seen skiving about their daily duties. 
Okay, after about 15 minutes, um, he comes wandering back down the hallway. His lordship will see you now, he says, um, as he kind of looks at you and paying particular attention to your feet. It's like he's, he's checking your feet to make sure they're clean. He's looking you up and down to see if you're somewhat presentable. He goes, hmm, yes, you'll do. Follow me, please. He leads you down the hallway and stops outside a large wooden door. He politely knocks and then pushes open the door, standing to the side neatly. He says, His Lordship awaits your pleasure. And he just kind of does a, you know, kind of a hand gesture to say, well, go on inside then. Uh, I give I give a recent key a nod and say, let's do this. All right. <laughs> I'll go in last. <laughs> How did I know you were going to say that? <laughs> Alrighty, so you enter into the Lord's study. Alright. Um. <clears throat> well, the Lord's study is decorated with art and fine carpentry. Mastfully crafted furniture dot the room, and the warmth can be felt from the large, ornate fireplace to the left of the room. There is fruit and a fine selection of wine and spirits on the table, and four comfortable chairs sit in front of the fireplace. All in all, it is an extremely cozy yet practical study for a man of station. The Lord himself is a tall man, wearing um, with a dark, where he has dark brown hair, and he's cleanly shaven and quite handsome, ladies. He looks as though he is in his early 30s, and he is dressed in a well-fitted brown tunic um, with a plain sleeveless shirt. He has black pants and high boots upon his feet. Long black gloves rest upon his hands, and a fine, light cloak resting on his shoulders. Well met, he says to you in a kind of deep voice. I am Lord Cornelius Yarn Spinner. It is a pleasure to make your acquaintance. What brings those, you to Scarrow, pray tell? Yeah. Of course, Corbett would do the well bet. Of course. Of course. <laughs> it's a guaranteed shag. It's a guaranteed shiggle. <laughs> I got to I got to stop. To I got to keep prepping, prepping for you now, Gore. I know, I know you too well. Okay. All right. Hail and well oh my met. God. My name is Radovan Renier. Fruit. He makes his way over to the table. He says, uh, would you like a drink? Uh, no. Those apples look mighty tasty, though. Thank you. Oh, please. Help yourself. I... <laughs> Never eat the apples, Radovan. The apples are always poisoned. <laughs> Especially red ones. <laughs> Do you say this out loud? <laughs> yes. <laughs> he kind of looks at you and he says, like, scowls for a second and goes, <laughs> yeah, the, the, the elves, man, they got a wicked sense of humor. He said, so, um, so what would bring a priest of St. Cuthbert? He says kind of almost questioningly. Aye. And two robed ladies to my door. Uh, well, sorry, hold, give me a second. We are looking... All right. Uh, it was a long night last night, man. Uh, I apologize. He'll say he had a little bit too much to drink. Sir. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, perhaps the uh, perhaps the proverbial hair of the dog might help you. He uh, goes nope. over to uh, one of the decanters and pours like a large half a glass of brandy and slides it to you. I, I pick it up. Oh, it smells good. Thank you, sir. I like Steve you. Steve Fernandez, 1280. Thanks for the follow, buddy. Oh, that's good stuff. All right. <laughs> oh, my lord, thank you. He says, if it was not so early, I would join you. But uh, it doesn't sit well this early in the morning for me. So we are here looking for a man by the name of Baron Lightstaff. <laughs> oh, yes. Baron, indeed. Yes, he's lived here for about a year now, I suppose. Likes the fishing. That, that's all the information we have had to go upon. And that's why we're here, because we were told you know where he is and where we can find him. Do you know his profession, by chance? Uh, regrettably, yes. And that would be? 
that he's some magical practitioner? And uh, I yes. Yeah. Okay, you do indeed know this fellow. Um, sadly, he disappeared some few weeks ago. Well, when I say disappeared, I do not mean in the literal sense, of course, but as in he has not been seen since he, well, ventured off onto the Great Lakes in a fishing boat. Um, uh, and we haven't course. seen him since. Of course. And how long ago was this? Uh, a few weeks back. Well, see, we we have come from Saramorn, uh, by the wizard by the name of Ashlyn Maine. And I look at Kia. Uh, I look at Kia and Raisa and say, "He wrote something about us, right? I mean, that rich." Uh, I guess he just takes. I take out the letter, hand it to him. Okay, he un unravels the scroll and reads it. No, yeah, well, he speaks quite highly of you. Apparently, you've um saved an entire town from some plague or something. Oh, Wait, you, you don't have the plague, do you? You haven't. No. no, no, we we have Maybe our own Good, good. Maybe good. Hey, hey, hey. He said, "So, um, your yeah. your heroes of some, <laughs> well, some notoriety then locally, I suppose. Would that yeah. be a fair, fitting comment to say? We are quite awesome, that is for sure. <laughs> oh, well, you're also extremely <laughs> modest, I can tell. But uh, <laughs> modesty is not one of your um, lacking qualities." Well, I'm awfully sorry that I can't help you with the wizard, um, but um, please feel free to enjoy my town, uh, our town, and um, my town. Do you uh, the, own uh, this place? You know, if you want to. Well, I don't technically own it, although several of the premises around town do belong to me. Yes. Hmm. Okay. This is this is quite unfortunate because we really need to meet this man well, and. Uh, if it is, is of there... such great importance to you, here's what I'll do. If you'd like to stay here in town for the next day or so, um, enjoy yourselves, take a take a rest, enjoy the lake, the fresh air, um, some of our local fare. Have you tried the whistle of fish? That's Quite all you guys talk about here. Oh, I think I... Sorry, excuse me. I, I, think, <laughs> I, just, I think I just tasted it again. Uh, I apologize. It was quite good. The second time, too. That's for sure. <laughs> he says, well, um... You know, it, it is, as I said, it is quite a delicacy, but we offer a lot of other, you know, good fare here. Um, what I will do is I will, um, I will ask some of my men to take an expedition across the lake and see if they can't see the whereabouts of this wizard for you. First, can I have the letter back, please? Uh, oh, of it's course, kind absolutely. Of like, uh, yeah, it's, he hands it's, it to you quite, they, almost like absentmindedly. Oh, sorry. Uh, and another thing. Oh, uh, in a minute. Possibly. Don't do it, Kia, <laughs> yeah, don't worry. I'm okay. You, you know. You're not uh, okay. I need to take care of you, obviously. <laughs> look at that. Excuse, look, excuse look me, sir. I'm going to kind of, like, elbow <laughs> Kia, like, shut up. <laughs> oh, my uh, gosh. Kia, Kia. Wow, you really... <laughs> Come, come here, Kia. Come here. I got to talk to you just for a second. Okay, I got to walk over to him. So, if, this is me whispering. I'm like... You're you're interrupting again. Like, oh. What's what's uh, your deal with that? Uh, your lord has sorry, made his I, way over I, to I the chairs. I, I mean, you 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 forced me up to talk to him, and then you were interjecting. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's just a habit. I'll stop. I'll okay. Stop. I mean, because if we deal with anything magical, I'll defer to you in in a heartbeat. Okay. All right. I'm hey. sorry. Oh. <laughs> All right. right. Well, just, while just, you had your private in, conversation, in, he has politely walked away. So that he could, in theory, not overhear. Um, and he's just sat into one of these chairs. All right. Okay. Sorry, I just tasted right. the fish again. It well, threw me. Five, six, three, four, eight, six, five. <laughs> All right. I look at Risa and I'm like, do you want to... Thanks for the follow. Did you want to say anything, Risa? I mean, get a, get a boat, I guess. But I kind of don't want to go out in the lake. He's going to send somebody to look. So let's wait and see what he has to say. Okay. Uh, I, I, sir, I, my lord, I'm sorry. He says, oh no, quite all right. Um, I, I, I you obviously had uh, something to discuss. I didn't want to interrupt. I, I walk over and take a seat. And I say, yeah, it, we're still getting acclimatized to each other. It's, it's been a tough, tough road we walked on. Hence the urgency to meet this man. Uh, not at all. You don't owe me any explanation. Well, but, you're um, too fine. But as I say, I'll, uh, 
I'll take care of seeing if we can't find your, uh, astray wizard for you today. Um, but please, enjoy our town, as I said. Um, you know, there's much to see, much to do. We have a rather pleasant general stores that you might stock up on, and, um, we have a pair of brothers that I must say are quite the, um, smithic <laughs> geniuses, as it were. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh yes, I commissioned them. I commissioned them many, many months ago to make myself a beautiful suit of plate mail, um, and I was extremely happy with the results. Uh, well, that's quite kind of you. I mean, I know plate mail can be quite expensive, and we've been traveling for so long, not exactly going to the richest of the richest place. I'm sorry, this fish is like attacking me. <laughs> Ugh. Uh. Said, well, they are they are very reasonable. I, I suggest you at least go talk to them. Okay. Um. Who are you going to send out to find this this guy? Maybe we can talk to him too. You know. Um. If you'd like to go on the if you'd like to go on the fishing boat out onto the lake and wander around and sail here, there, and the other, you can. Or you can stay here on the shore where it's nice and safe and. Enjoy the afternoon and the day. Okay, th thank you for your time, and uh, it, I look at Race and I say, if you want to say anything, you know, go ahead. Um, and I'm just going to politely ask if there is any uh, herbalist shops in town. We do not have a herbalist shop, but our general stores does carry a very, very wide variety of goods. I'd definitely check it out if I were you. Thank you. Well, uh, I'll uh, summon a couple of my my um, employees, and I'll have them procure a boat and head out and go look for your disappearing wizard. Um, where are you staying? The inn, I take it? Yes, it's quite a nice place. That's where says, we well, was. not a problem. And uh, please, if you uh, enjoyed the brandy that I gave you, I, I have plenty more in the cellar. Why don't you just take that bottle with you? <laughs> I will do. Thank you. You are too kind, my lord. It's, oh, not at all. Okay. okay he kind of walks Thank you to you, the lord. door. As soon as he gets there and opens it, the little waiter guy, the you know, the butler is standing there waiting for you. He says, "Should I escort them out, sir?" Yes, uh, please do. And uh, I'll, I'll be seeing you shortly. Hope you enjoy the stay in the town. Thank I'm you. just going to nod, like, thank you. Uh, like The that butler kind of leads you to the door, opens it, and beckons you leave. In well, a very I'm... pompous yet polite way. I leave. I, I follow. Yeah. Get out. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, thank you. Yeah, just get out. <laughs> Off with you now. <laughs> All right, so you're back outside on the streets of Scarrow. Um, to the store. <laughs> wonder store, wonder store. Okay. You head down to the store. Um, to the right of the store, where these tents are, that, that's basically a fish market. But the building that is, um, as you guys can see on the map, that's number six, um, is what appears to be some kind of like refreshment stall. It has all kinds of drink and food and stuff like that. It's almost like um, kind of like some kind of fast food, you know, set up for people that work in the docks and stuff like that. Fast food. Does it have... It's really not fast food, but you know, <laughs> it's it, close it, to is, is the food greasy? Um, some of it is. Then that's where Radavan's going. Okay. <laughs> Right, so Radovan makes it over to the, um, so he, yeah, he heads over to the stall and, um, does that. You guys are going, or I know Raysa is going to the general stores. I'd like to. Okay, and Kia. Yeah. Who I'm you... gonna go walk out to the docks and kind of look at the boats and look out at the water. Alrighty. Just to see what it looks like. Okay, well, um, Scarrow has but a single store, but it is large and well stocked. Run by Golda and Berger Rewin. Um, which are both middle a, a middle-aged couple. It carries almost anything you could possibly need um, living here in town, including food and drink, tools, houseware, traveling equipment, clothing, basic weaponry, ammunitions, and so on and so on. So what are you looking for, Racer? 
I just want to go look at the herbs and see if there's anything that piques my interest. Maybe uh, check my vial, vial uh, stash. All just kind of replenish. Uh, they do. I mean, they they have a few like empty vessels and stuff like that that you could buy to be able to put stuff in. On the herbalist front, they really don't have much at all, to be honest. Okay. What about shinies? Like gems and stuff like that? They have some jewelry. Uh, not so much jewelry. Um, they don't have see. any, like, loose gems or anything. Okay. Uh, any, like, daggers with um, they, shinies? They have... Them? Um, no, I mean, they, they have some... You know, they have some nice-looking nice looking daggers that look fairly well balanced and nice and sharp. I mean, they're well made, but they're nothing special. To the eye, at least, anyway. And there's supposed to be a really good armor smith, right? In town? There is supposed to be, yes. Okay. Um, that doesn't really help me. Alright, well, I'll just poke around. Okay. Um, okay, so Kia, you go down and stand on the docks and kind of watch the, you know, sitting on the dock of the bay. You know, watching the tide roll away. On the dock of the bay. <laughs> there we go. Um, so basically, um, it's a thriving hub of community. Many people can be seen coming and going, loading and unloading, and otherwise being very industrious. Large fishing boats are moored here, as well as some river traders. The dock also has um, two very large warehouses at its southwest end, where all the goods are stored for both incoming and outgoing trade. And you can kind of see, as you walk over there, you see Radovan propped up at the beer tent. Um, meanwhile, Radovan, one of the dot workers has come over and sat next to you, and he goes, You're a priest of St. Cuthbert, ain't ya? Hi, what's going on? How are you? He says, Oh, I'm fine. He goes, Here, here. And he slams his hand down. He goes, A uh, couple of beers, a couple of beers over here. One for me and one oh. for this, for the priest of St. Cuthbert. Is, is that what you, <laughs> do you want, beer? It's a little early, don't you think? He goes, Nah. Almost ten. <laughs> well, okay, let's right, so bring it on. Pours a couple of beers. He goes. I've always wondered about going into the priesthood myself. You know, All we right, don't have a were... church around there, so there's no one to really talk to about it. Well, do you get out much? Eh, not a lot. Well, there's there's an order just to the south of here called at Saramorn. Right, he's drinking uh, his beer like enthusiastically as he's listening to you. He's like looking at you <laughs> as he guzzles, and half of it goes down his chin. He's like wipes it and slams the empty. He goes, never one, never one. He goes, you, you never drink. He goes, go on, keep him coming, keep him coming. <laughs> so, pours you another beer. They're <laughs> <laughs> trying to get. What, 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 do, what do you do, sir? What do you do? <laughs> well, I work on the docks normally, but ain't exactly like, a career choice, to be honest. Well, you do know that the priests of Saint Cuthbert, we we're often in danger. We don't shy away from it. I mean, have you been attacked by some giant fish anytime in soon? <laughs> giant fish? No, he said, but... He goes, you know, it's a boring life living here, working the docks. He said, I've, I yearn for adventure. My blood aches for it. Well, and I then think I see you come swanning in here with your shiny armor and... I think you should go to Saramorn and enlist. He says, well, I will. Uh, could you... Who should I speak to? Well, there's a high priest. Look, you're not going to remember any names. Believe me, I have trouble. <laughs> Chase, huh? <laughs> go to Saramorn, go talk to the high priest, and say, Radovan Rainier sent you. That's all you need to say. Don't even need their names. Oh, well, fair enough. Radovan, that's you, is it? Radovan Rainier. A couple of chases, mate. He pours a couple <laughs> of shot glasses. He hands you one and holds the other one. He goes, cheers! I tell you, it. then shoot it back. <laughs> okay. Oh but I'm not, I'm not, I'm not happy. I'm actually <laughs> not happy. But my hangover's going away. Well, That's you're kind of, know. you know, you're, 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 I mean, you're back to drunk. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> two big glasses of brandy, two beers, a shot, and you haven't had breakfast. So you're, yeah, well, I'm, you're... Eating, I'm eating the breakfast. They have greasy food, right? Oh, they have some here, yeah. This is awesome. Yeah, you're eating hey. it now. It's like you got alcohol first, then, then, the yeah, no, on no. Top. Yeah, you're, you're feeling pretty, uh, pretty merry again already. Cool. Right. He sits down and uh, you know he eats a big fry. He eats a big fried steak with you, and he insists on paying for that. Thank you. Uh, have you 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 so you you go out often um, on the boats? I'm not a fisherman. I'm just a dockhand. 
I unload, reload. You ever hear about that quarter staff light? <laughs> Alice? Uh, no. Uh, he he shoot he slings spells, you know. Baron light staff. <laughs> this is uh, us. <laughs> no, haven't heard of him. <laughs> you work on the docks and you don't know about some wizard. No, it's a real. He goes. Don't know much about a wizard, he goes, but it's a rare treat to sit here with a priest of St. Cuthbert, it is. Oh, all right, all right. You I'm wait till my mate's here about how I sat down here and got drunk he with a priest. He goes, a, a really nice bloke. He goes, and a priest of St. Cuthbert. Jesus. <laughs> yes, we're Two ooh, more. magical. <laughs> no, I said, no, I'm good now, man. I'm good. Thank you. <laughs> he says, you sure? Yes. He goes, oh, come on. He said, don't hurt me feelings. Oh, Just you... one more for the road. Oh, one for the road? On America you, 12, bitch. thanks for the follow. He goes, he goes, he goes, to St. Cuthbert! To Cuthbert! He goes, I'm really, he goes, he goes, I'm really glad that the Order of St. Cuthbert is allowed to drink, too. He said, because that would be a hell of a thing to have to give up. <laughs> and he well, knocks it, it back. If you're fighting, you know, you, you don't want to drink too much. Because there's a lot of fighting involved. He says, well, i got to go. I'll see you later, mate. And he wanders that, off to the dock. Just like, up and, just up and leaves. What the what? <laughs> okay, sure, that's a thing. Okay. Right, um, at this point, um, <coughs> the the barman says, uh, "Do you want anything else, or are you done?" Uh, put everything on that guy's tab. He's a cool uh, guy. He already took care of it. Cool. All right. Um, I take out my 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 uh, brandy and I say, "Can you give this to him?" Oh, no, for from uh, for me. I can, yeah. All right, get, get it out of my sight, you know. Thank, right, thank um, you. Okay. Right. <laughs> so you're doing that. Um, so Kia, you're on the docks. Racer, you've mulled around the tavern, uh, kind of mulled around the sh the, the um, general store. Anything yeah. you could realistically want is there, but nothing, nothing out of the ordinary, nothing strange. No. I'll just wander towards the docks to meet up with the other two. All righty. You do so. Um, Radovan is staggering around, kind of very inebriated. <laughs> huh? um, as this happens, you notice three militiamen are marching towards you. Oh. Uh oh. I'm Once they kind of get close, they stop right in front of you and um, scowl at you. Yes, and sir. a priest, no Sirs? less, of St. Cuthbert. Hey! Awfully sorry, but you're under arrest. Inebriated in public. Wait, what? Wait, what? He That's said, a rule here? It's a law here. It's against the law. There's a... There's a... There's a... Between the hours of 9 a.m. and 6 p.m., it is illegal to be on the streets drunk. It is considered vagrancy. I'm afraid what? I have to arrest you, sir. Wait, 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 wait. It's a tent. There's like flapping. It flaps. He said, having it, a drink it, is one thing. He goes, you can barely stand. Look at you. But so I'm supposed to stay in there? Like, what if I want to go to the end to sleep? You know, I have to go outside. That's ridiculous. He said, you can be drunk in a bar. You just can't be drunk in public. We'll but go. We'll go into the tavern. I'll go into yeah, man. Look, I'm awfully go. sorry, but the law is the law. He said, "Look, you oh, are a priest of Saint Cuthbert. You're not honestly going to give us a hard time here, are you?" Wait, but listen, we are new here. We had never been here before. We had Ignorance no idea. Ignorance is no law. excuse, as I'm sure this priest of Saint Cuthbert will verify. Ignorance of the law is hey, no hey. excuse. I'm... Can I try to charm the main guy? I'm a dude. You can try. <laughs> if you want to. Because if I can get him on my side, he can convince the yeah, other Yeah, there are three guys. of them. Of course, if it fails, they might consider that hostile. Ooh. Uh, he no, no. It. Hey, where, where is your jail? Like, what? where is it, man? Okay, he points to kind of like a large, black-roofed, L-shaped building just behind you. He said, look, just come quietly. He said, we'll put you in irons. He said, and uh, the Lord can decide what to do with you. Well, what are the penalties for being in, you know, I mean, are you going to execute me or something? Of course not. We're not barbaric. Well, you kind of are a little unreasonable. You got a, this place that serves alcohol. Excuse me? I'm unreasonable? He said, do you see me walking around staggering all over the place? He goes, I ain't getting in people's way. a priestly order, no less. He goes, you really are bringing a well, bad name to everybody, you know. Uh, <laughs> hey, no. I kind of pull out my money and, like, 
Like, can we bail him out? He says, um, sorry, we don't have any basis for bail. He said, yeah, now, wait. he said, if it is ruled that he should just pay a fine, by all means. He said, oh, but I... I will tell you the general fine or the general um, penalty for being drunk in public um, during the hours of 9 to 12 and contributing towards vagrancy is three months imprisonment. But you uh, can nine... always kind of see okay. if you can get off a little early. F fair enough. But 9 to 12, what? Like morning, like noon or midnight? No, 9 to 6. 9, 9 a.m. in the morning till 6 p.m. After 6 p.m., it is considered reasonable to be out and being drunk. But during working hours, it is considered wrong and vagrant to be drunk in town. Who came up with this rule? This well, the law. law. He goes, the Lord did. Lord this is a respectable Cornelia. Who's the law? A respectable town. Who's the law? The Lord. He makes the law. But he, he gave. He's the one who gave me the brandy. Did he tell you to drink it in public? He, <laughs> I didn't drink it in public. I drank it in the tent. It, look, which had the We flaps. can stand here arguing all day, or you can come with us, <laughs> and we can uh, tent. Ask, That's you know, just allow us to side. escort our duty. He says, That's I like really the, don't want to have to get rough with you, mate. But he said, but you're really pushing my either, buttons sir. now. You know that. Well, jeez, you buttons like what is belly button? <sighs> All right, Hans, grab him. Oh, oh all right. Kind of Hans move over falafel. And grab you by the arms. I, 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 ow. <laughs> and they kind of Hans, help dude. you wobble towards the tavern. Oh, I'm sorry, towards the tavern, towards the jailhouse. What are you two girls doing? You going with or are you just standing there like. I'm Did I make it behind. to them? <laughs> um, you, well, you, as you walk over there, you can see the two, the two militiamen carrying Radovan towards the jail. Hey, uh, it's. What? Where's all this fish? I'm going to stay out of sight of the uh, of the jailman, but try and catch Kia's eye if I can, and like give her like a what? <laughs> I just like shake my head and like do the little drinking sign. Hey, hey guard, sir, is is Cassandra in there? <laughs> Cassandra, he said, you seriously are in need of sleeping this one off, ain't you? Hey, I slept <laughs> off last night. It was As they fine. escort Radovan into the jailhouse. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Ridiculous. Uh, they take you to a rather damp and cold looking <laughs> cell. Prop you down on <laughs> prop you down on a stool and shut the door. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and we're gonna leave it there. Oh, oh man. man. <laughs> there it is. There Gore, it is my hat is off to you, man. Hi, I'm Gorbad, the Dungeon Master on How We Roll. If you'd like to follow my personal channel, it's twitch.tv slash Gorbad, or on my other social media, at Gorbad for Twitter, or at Gorbad TV for YouTube. Hi guys, I'm Bane. You want to hang out with me some more, you can find me on twitch.tv slash Bane1271, Twitter at Bane1271, or Facebook and YouTube under Bane Blackstar. See you guys soon. Hello, my name is Shagget, and I play Radovan Rainier, a cleric on How We Roll. You can follow me on www.twitch.tv slash shagget. Hey, I'm Jane. You can follow me on my personal channel at twitch.tv slash janeivana, or if you'd like, on my Twitter at Jane on Twitch with a zero, not an O. Peace.